Hey everybody, it's your boy Joseph Rothschild, aka MBT. She's here too. She just wants she just wants attention, chat. Oh. <sighs> I didn't give her any attention today. That was didn't wrong. Didn't any attention today either. Come here, come here. You step on me. Oh, she's she's sniffing me. She said, sniff, sniff, sniff. <laughs> she's like, hold up. I have to be touching him at all times. I have to be touching that the. I have wrong. to be touching him, or else. I have to be touching both people at all times, or else. He's like, yes. It's true. Uh, okay, let's let's get Sadie off me. Ugh. Ugh. We're putting her on her little sack. Ugh. Hello. So, we're back again way too late on a Wednesday. I'm going to have to rethink this as a streaming day. I'm going to give it one more week. Um, oh, I thought you were going to say you are going to rethink school. Yeah, no. Um, I'm going to rethink school so I can fucking get to the Saga React stream faster. Yeah. Thanks for the kiss, miss. You're welcome. Mm. Anyway. Um, and there she goes. No, oh, she's like, she can't decide. She's like, it's really comfy. Can you close the door? Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> you know, uh, just got back from school. There's another garage I want to try, which I think will shave up like 20 minutes off my um, my time. If I can start by seven, I'll keep it here. But uh, but otherwise, whew, I don't know. Ugh. But I'm back. I'm I'm chilling. Uh, I'm having a having a good old day. Having a good day. How's law school been? Doable. It has been doable. I was really afraid that it was not going to be doable. Um, as I said last time, it has been pretty much 10 years since I was in a classroom. So it was good to be back and uh, basically feel like everything that was being done was stuff that I could do, that I that I did have the capacity to do it. Um, some of the, the classes are great. I was really impressed by um, some of my teachers. Uh, I did not think I would like. Some of them are dog shit. Uh, but, you know, that's just the way of life. That's the way of life. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, everyone else there is 21. This is something that I wasn't expecting to be really weird. It's insanely weird. Um, a lot of these people are children. Uh, I'm in, like, a bunch of random classes that ended up being about national security. So I have a bunch of people who went from, like, ROTC directly into service. And I'm just like, uh, you are a baby. Um, one of the classes I'm in, The Art of War, has us reading a, um, just a, a history of uh, the law of armed conflict. And um, it has a really poignant quote, which is, you will find in times of war that, that the, uh, the most brutal force on the face of the earth is the average American 19-year-old. And every day I feel as if that's more and more true. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, for now, uh, you know, I'm having, I'm having a good time. Uh, I'm I'm chilling with my other part-time students. I, I get a bunch of benefits for being a commuter student. They let me use a fridge to keep my lunches. Uh, speaking of lunches, let's talk real quick about this uh, account I have been obsessed with. Uh, we're we're going to spend a lot of time talking about dog shit today. All right. So this account is called Bento Nudes. All right. So have, has, have any of you ever seen this uh, this channel? All right. This is a uh, massively popular channel on TikTok and on uh, YouTube. And um, <clears throat> I um, I guess I will say this. Uh, I think that our society is definitely going downhill. Um, due in part to the fact that we are all giving ourselves every disease possible by participating in social media at all times, right? But, but there is one really good thing that social media has done, which is let me know personally that something like 25% of Americans live in hell. And we get to experience that hell in like 60 second long bite-sized pieces every like, you know, four or five weeks. So let me see if I can... <clears throat> Let's just, this is my favorite of hers. For my husband's lunch today, I'm going to start by packing in a side salad. We're doing some romaine lettuce. Then I'm topping it with some sliced red onion, cherry tomatoes, cucumber, and some carrots. 
Obviously, the star-shaped carrots weren't necessary, but I did it anyways. Next, I placed down a liner and I got these at Daiso. In that, I'm packing these peaches and I got them at Costco and they came in that giant jar that everybody's been showing off on TikTok. And yes, they're super delicious. Unfortunately, they're not seedless, so it's kind of weird cutting it into pieces. Lastly, I packed in some cookies and for the main portion, I'm packing in some Bosco sticks. I heated these up in my air fryer and they turned out perfect. These were always such a popular item at my high school and surprisingly, my husband's never had them before, which seems super sad. His high school must have been super lame. He did end up loving them a lot and I served it up with some marinara sauce. And now that the lunch is ready to go, I'm packing it all up and of course, including a note for my husband. All right, let's break this down frame by frame. So first and foremost, I mean, I'll just say what we're all thinking. This woman's entire presence online is her making to millions of viewers lunches for her adult husband. Now, th this to me, is, I mean, I know that I am basically making a living talking about cardboard for children, okay? But this, I think, maybe is sadder. I think it's maybe just a little bit sadder. But let's let's run through it real quick. For my husband's lunch today, I'm going to start by packing in a side salad. Okay, so we've got a side salad. This is just it's it's it, just we're lettuce. Doing some romaine lettuce. Uh, we've got and some uh, some, some some onions. Sliced red uh, we've onions. We've got sliced red onions. And then I'm sorry. This next part is for children. Okay, tomatoes, cucumber, and some carrots. Obviously, the star. She's cutting out star-shaped carrots. Come on. <laughs> shaped carrots weren't necessary, but I did it anyways. Next, I placed down a liner and I got these at Daiso. In that, I'm packing these peaches and I got them at Costco. Okay, so jarred peaches cut into slices placed in a paper film for inclusion in a box. That, this is, this is food for high schoolers. It's food for high schoolers. Go and they came in that giant jar that everybody's been showing off on TikTok. And yes, they're super delicious. Unfortunately, of course, yes, it is a TikTok. These are included for a TikTok reason. They're not seedless, so it's kind of weird cutting it into pieces. Lastly, I packed in some cookies and. And then, okay, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this. This isn't food. This is something you get at Seven Eleven, and you regret getting. This is. This is like, you, you all had this if you had hot lunch in high school. For the main portion, I'm packing in some Bosco sticks. I heated these up in my air fryer and they turned out perfect. Okay, if you've never had a Bosco stick, it's a fucking Olive Garden breadstick filled with cheese. These were always such a popular item at my high school and <sighs> surprisingly, my husband's never had them before, which oh, seems man. super sad. His high school must have been super lame. He did end up loving- Oh, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Was that mayonnaise? Okay, maybe this, maybe she's on to something after all. Hot, and I served it up with some marinara sauce. And now that the lunch is ready to go, I'm packing it all up, and of course, including a... And then what does the note say? No from... Say no to dicks, but say yes to cheese sticks. It's homophobic. I'm, I'm just... My husband. I'm fucking with you. Uh, I don't know. I just... Yesterday, I went on a little binge as I was falling asleep, and I watched about 10 or 15 of these in a row, and... Oh, man. It just... It seems like living in hell. I don't know. I wouldn't make a very good trad wife. To me, this seems like what hell would be. I would wake up every morning and I'd be like, what cute fucking thing can I put in my child husband's lunch today? <sighs> but hey, you know, I basically get up and talk about fucking chaos sorcerer for 12 hours a day. So pretty similar, I would say. Pretty similar. Putting the gun is good, the penis is evil on my lunch note. Come on. This is all jealousy. It would be jealousy if it was good food. Let me show you the other one of these that I really like. I'll show you one other one. Uh, it's in the, um, I think it's her most viewed of all time. Oh, also, by the way, this is one of those channels that's like got 5 million subscribers and averages 10K on non-shorts videos. I, I feel so bad for people like this because like if she had been uploading these in 2013, this person would be the fucking president of the United States. But now every site is TikTok. Okay, let me see if I can find it. It's, it's where is it? Yeah, this one. For this my is my favorite. Okay, listen. This is food for children. Lunch today, I'm going to start by packing in some fruit. And today I... Okay, she is cutting up an orange. One, it's a grown man. 
He can eat a full orange. But so, look at this. I'm going to slice up an orange. I cut the orange up into bite-sized pieces, and I'm actually going to save my orange peels because I'm doing my brine tomorrow for my turkey. Okay. Next, I'm adding blueberries. You just throw the blueberries in. Wrong. Adding in some blueberries. These were pretty big, almost the. We are cutting the blueberries into cute size shapes. Of my thumb, and I did some fun cutouts with them. Once they're in there, I'm going to pack in some dried fruit and nut trail mix. Okay, this is my favorite thing she does. I'm sorry to be like, I'm like a bento nudes truther, but my favorite thing that she does is she will include a sack of nuts in like 80% of them. It'll be just like a Dixie cup and she'll just pull, pour peanuts into it. I don't understand what purpose that serves, but it's in all of them. This is the one I'm using today. Yeah, drop them in, in baby. I'm going to make these okay. cucumber now what is this? skewers. With it is a cucumber skewer made with two cucumbers, a carrot, and what appears to be a stack of cold cuts. This is a Lunchable. It should look like right. little sandwiches. You, got, you, you all remember sauce, Lunchables? I'm in this some is a Lunchable. You gotta put in sauce. And for the main and portion, the main I'm going course? to be making some a second Lunchable. The bread I'm using is Non Rounds by Stonefire. For my pizza toppings, this is I literally a Lunchable. Mushrooms and bacon bits. I put these in my air fryer, and they did get a little darker than I wanted to, but that's totally fine. I garnished with some fresh basil. Now that everything's packed and ready to go, I'm of course including a note for my husband. What did Jillian make you for lunch? She didn't make me shit. I was at school. But when I got dinner, she had made me a lovely tuna casserole and roasted broccoli. Steamed broccoli? What, she put the broccoli in the oven. It was very nice. For my husband. Okay. I, listen. <laughs> Hypocrite? Well, I didn't, she didn't like fucking cut the tuna into little fish shapes, okay? She didn't put fruity pebbles in the <laughs> garnish for the, the broccoli, right? <clears throat> Oh my God, I it, it's just so strange. I what what a what is what an uh, uh, but this is regrettably it is my favorite thing right now. This this uh this channel it it's just so addicting to watch. It's just like wow, that's crazy. I could watch these for legitimately like two or three hours. <clears throat> oh, this is an easy sub. Can you shut the fuck up, Rebecca? This is just a hobby for her, clearly. Liking to make cute food isn't a crime yet, but I intend to make it one. Why do you think I'm going to law school? <clears throat> you have the mind of a high school freshman? Clearly not. If I was a high school freshman, I'd be pogging out over those Bosco sticks. All right, we we do a little bit of we do a little bit of uh for you page on YouTube. My for you page on YouTube by the way, really good. I have spent months saying no to every like fucking the quartering style video that you just watch and get angry, saying no to uh all family guy funny moments, all TV shows period. Now look what I got. The stupid uh meme from uh you know, YouTube Stupid Twitter meme, animated, love it. Master Saga, love it. The Muppet Show theme automaton cover, love it. Making the wormhole coffee table. You know what I'm going to do when I log off? I'm going to watch it make the wormhole cover t uh, coffee table. Mentos and Diet Coke sausage. Oh, it's a classic. Um, can Paper Mario be completed without badges? I wonder. So, you know, sometimes I do wonder. And then my shorts, I have... I, these are all, I love every one of these. I, I love this channel. Let's make lasagna. This guy just about this, uh, this channel, a couple of things. One, uh, this guy, Albert can cook, uh, is one of those like YouTube chefs, you know, they do stupid fucking challenges. Everything he makes looks like real edible food. I think he's had like two misses ever. Um, sometimes I'll watch a binging with bumblish episode and like, it'll be like, I made the stinky dinky from Plinky Trinky. And like, it'll, it, it, he'll be like, I killed nine cows to get this amount of beef. And now we're going to throw it in the toilet. And I always think like, man, that was a real sentient animal that died. So we could make the stinky dinky. But like, this is good looking food. You know, at least there was a purpose behind it. Nah. The other thing is this guy does something that I really like, uh, which is he knows that people only watch his shorts. So he has, for his videos, he has uploaded his shorts 
with two additional seconds of footage so they get the video monetization. This is a, a genius decision. <laughs> Legitimately the smartest man who ever lived. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, now he doesn't have to because this, and this is such a cool concept. Look at this. I so he gives the, he says to the AI, give me a recipe. crazy recipe and, and I'll make it. And here's what we got. All right. So they took, they said to make barbecue a barbecue pork, pork pizza. Pork with pineapple. pizza. So let's cook and rate it. 30 bucks. That was wrong. <laughs> I love the bamic. That's kind of that's a penis. What is that oven? He lives in an apartment without a fully working kitchen. It's so funny. I don't think he has an oven. This is a, a stupid fucking recipe, but I'm going to be honest with you. This looks, it looks decent. Look at that. It looks fine. He has his own hot sauce. It's called hot There's sauce. There's no thumbs up because of pineapple on a pizza, but it wasn't that bad. Seven out of 10. Yeah. Great job. Anyway, I, <clears throat> you know, that... That's that. That's what I wanted to talk about earlier today. We got some more important stuff to do, though. First off, rate my... F drip? Drip? Yes? No? Drip? Yes? No? No. Th this one didn't work for me. I, I was not super happy about this one. Um, the, the couple of things... some There's a couple of things working uh, against me here. First, I really don't have more than one pair of pants. I need to get more pants. Uh, this is a pair of pants I wore maybe like two years ago to some fucking thing. And I put it on, I've gotten a little, a little chubbier and it could, uh, it could button, but it wasn't comfortable. So I spent most of the day with the thing unbuttoned, hoping that like my shirt, you know, carried. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but someone in here said, are those supposed to be pride flags or is the shirt kind of fruity? Why the fuck would... Come on! It is part of Target's Pride collection. You are correct. It's from the Target Homo collection. You are right. Uh, yeah. You got me. It's a little fruity. I don't think it's... I don't think they're flags. I think they're meant to evoke flags. Like the concept of flags. Uh, you know. <clears throat> All right, but more important things happen today. First and foremost, we got another banger from the act man. They <laughs> I love this guy, man. I love him. By but okay, so we These got do not support the upcoming Hogwarts Legacy game. Okay, we got this stereotypical SJW with uh, the the patch notes flag in the background. Let's see what they're gonna say. Friends, colleagues, cohorts, the whole lot of you. I'm asking you very sincerely, please do not stream it. Don't make YouTube videos about it. Don't buy it and don't bloody pre-order it. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. That's unreasonable. I cannot take it. But the act man has the answer. He says, by buying the video game, you support transphobic values. I say as the metal in my cell phone used to record this video was mined by child slave labor. To the act man, I would say proof, proof. He was, he, was all, he was all over fucking Twitter yesterday going, proof, proof that J.K. Rowling's transphobic, proof, proof. I'm going to, I'll, I'll say it. All right. I, 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 maybe the act man's phone was made with child labor. Mine wasn't. I'm built different. I mined the, the cobalt for this internal battery myself. I would never participate in a system of slavery. What are you talking about? Wh Where's this coming from? I, I. I personally put together this phone and I put the iPod logo on the back so I wouldn't feel, you know, insecure about not having an iPod. Uh, no, yeah, I, I built it myself. I, I tempered the glass. I uh, built the conductor. Um, 
<laughs> like, what, what? I don't know. But it, it's just, it's lovely. I love this guy so much. Every day he gets up and he's like, yeah, I can beat this argument. Let me just uh, hop in my, uh, my time machine to 2013. Hey, uh, someone told me not to purchase this game made by a terrible person. Well, have you considered that maybe they use iPhone? Oh, shit. That's unbeatable. Yeah, you got it. Anyway, um, uh, so you know we had to, we know you know we had to do we had to do the old standard. We had to go boo, <laughs> boo. <laughs> you know, I we got to do it. Um, I'm I'm loading up I'm I'm loading up the barrel. We're gonna put on Chaos Gustav uh, the fake card next time. Anyway, uh, we got some good people in the comments. You have such a weird and warped point of view on everything that isn't Yu-Gi-Oh. But I suppose that's the Yu-Gi-Oh community in a nutshell. Uh, we got. You know, unfortunately, I do have to kind of give the Ackman a little bit of credit. The Preda plant names fucking suck. They're not good. A Clamio Sundu is terrible. Should have been Sundu King Eye. Easily. Uh, Ackman really lives in your head rent free. This one's great. Uh, I, I, I just have to say right now, like, you understand that I have, like, way fewer followers than this guy, right? When I quote tweet him to dunk on him, that's not me, him living in my head rent free. It's just classic clout chasing. I don't know what to tell. It, it's different thought terminating cliche. You got to go for the other one. Uh, but, you know, uh, Rebecca with the best one, of course. We're, we're just going to post this until the end of time. Um, anyway, you live in a society. Uh, let's check out. But But guess what? He's not done. We are still doing this. Please do something tangible with your outrage towards Hogwarts Legacy. Post your donation receipts in response to this if you would like. I think it's a neat thing if you are boycotting the game to donate $60. This one's great. Um, a real, like, it's a real, like, gamer, like, prestige style understanding of, um, <clears throat> you know, like, how this works. Like, oh, well... You can buy a carbon offset for your guilt. Simply donate to the trans lifeline. You see, it's it's different um, because, you know, like, I give $60 to Hitler, but I also gave $60 to the victims of Hitler Memorial Fund. What's, what's the problem, liberals? Uh, sheesh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's, that's that one. Uh, donate to no, a trans lifeline. My brother in Christ, my uh, lifeline is a trans lifeline. Dyer, you better get your lifeline back on making a short. Uh, this happened last week, but a coworker looked over my phone while I was on break, saw your stream VOD and said, who is that fruity looking guy? Then left before I could explain. That's fair. I would say that that's fair. Uh, that is that is fair to me. Uh, that is fair. Uh, there's a lot of people like scrolling through here uh who are just like legitimately like scouring the quote tweets to his tweets i feel like fucking the act man summoning 20 million dick riders to say that they're gonna buy the new jk rowling game i don't understand uh let's see what else we got oh um this isn't a twitter thread uh i almost wanted it to be one but i don't think it'd play well uh, so, I saw a rulings thread for uh, Magic the Gathering about this card, Panglacial Worm. You ever seen this card before? Um, so, this, this card is shocking for a number of reasons. Uh, first off, uh, this effect doesn't work. No shot in hell should you be able to do this. But, if you do do it, then you should uh, have been able to do it in 2003 before they realized what cards should and should not be allowed to do. Right? Um... This was printed in, like, 07, right? In Cold Snap. Like, it was a modern card. It says, while you're searching your library, you may play Panglacial Worm from your library. Why does this not work correctly? Well, um... Like in Yu-Gi-Oh!, you can only activate cards during an open game state in Magic, right? Um... They have an equivalent to the chain called the stack, but, like, during the resolution of a card, you can't put a new card on the stack. But what if, as part of the resolution of a card, you search your library? How do you play Panglacial Worm? Well, 
things get tricky. And for what it's worth, uh, pretty much any interaction this card is involved in gets immediately very tricky. Uh, Siberian showed up to whine about it in uh, Gavin's server, so I had a fun afternoon. I wanted to see what people could think of in terms of shit that fucks up in Magic. Um, I said, what are some cards like Pole Position that are super innocuous but lead to these completely fucky uh, board states, right? Uh, Coder says, um, last turn, and I said, okay, we're talking about innocuous cards here. We, no one reads last turn and goes, oh, I bet that doesn't fuck up anything, right? There's people in here posting Scheherazade. We all know Scheherazade has problems, right? But here's here's a great one. Kark Clan Ironworks. Uh, this card, I believe, is now banned in Modern. Four mana artifact. Sack an artifact to add two to your mana pool. Uh, so this was the focus of a combo deck, multiple combo decks, for a significant amount of time in Modern. Um, after I left, uh, people found out an interaction that basically caused them to have to get rid of this card. Uh, here's what happened. Um, anyone who glanced at the rules for... Ca oh, so here's... here's to, to understand this, you need a little preface about how casting spells works, right? So when you cast a spell, there's multiple steps. There's you, like, declare you're casting the spell, then you, then you pay the mana cost, right? You are casting the spell by the time you play the mana, or pay the mana. And when you pay the mana, you can use mana abilities to pay for it. And that includes lands, but also includes effects like this, which allow you to generate mana, right? So, <clears throat> uh, what's happening here is... These wrong. two cards, Mirror Retriever and Scrap Trawler, were both playable in this deck. Let's just say right here. Scrap Trawler says when in this or another artifact you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, return to your hand, target artifact card in your graveyard with a lesser mana value. And Mirror Retriever, that which says wrong. when it dies, put a, an artifact card from your graveyard into your hand. Another, so it can't target itself, right? So, um, when casting a spell, you determine the cost of the spell. You decide if the spell is going to cost you mana. This is one I was unfamiliar with. And then you pay the cost. So, because um, if, if we... Use the mana ability of KCI to pay for a spell by sacrificing these two cards. That was wrong. The triggers are checked but don't go on the stack until you finish the spell casting process, and then you can resolve them in a way that they can target each other, right? And I was like, that's insane. First of all, it gets worse. Can you do this that interaction if you are paying for a spell? That costs zero mana. Who knows? That was wrong. Many people are saying yes. The answer? No. <laughs> Rule saying you can activate uh, these abilities if there was a mana cost to pay. And the question was whether zero counted as paying. In the end, it was decided that it didn't. But for any other spell, you are still free to overactivate it for a cost you weren't going to pay with. You can, you know, Ancient Stirrings costs a green, but you could sack 45, you know, artifacts to make 45 million mana and then get the triggers. Um, this is, in, this is, I, I mean, this makes me want to never play Magic again. Let me get Siberian in here. They have been contacted. Hi. Hey. Okay, what's going on here? No, like, I just don't want you to, like, uh, do this thread without supervision. Oh, I see what you mean. So, when I fuck up, inevitably? Yeah. Okay. Like, I think that, uh, so far, so good. I don't think you said anything that's uh, too incorrect. Um, but, uh, like, just in case. Yeah. Uh, these two are funny. Animate dead, necromancy. They do something that's really easy to explain, but really hard to template. Yeah, like necromancy in particular is uh, notable because of uh, the, the the whole uh, substance thing. It's mm -hmm. like uh, one of uh, thirteen cards in the game that uh, mention the cleanup step, which is uh, insane. Uh, and uh, anime dead is of course also necromancy cleanup. is a regular enchantment that after resolving it turns itself into an aura. Uh, uh, yeah, an aura. It is not, uh, which also is crazy. I was gonna say there's a couple of them that do that, right? Um. I maybe Dance of the Dead is another one. No, actually, maybe Dance of the Dead is a regular uh, enchantment. I'm not sure. I think it's very rare, anyway. Uh, let's see. A lot of people saying Spell Skite. That, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. But I yeah, would look Spell at Skite this card and I would think, because, oh no, this is crazy. Uh, 
uh, Spurs Cat is interesting because there are uh, some weird, there's some weird stuff in the rules for changing targets, uh, like some strange ambiguity that uh, wasn't never resolved. Like there are two different rules that are saying the same thing, and we are not sure where the difference is. So like we just uh, carry carry on. Okay, so this is this person kept showing up. Uh, Selvala, uh, Explorer returned. Um, yeah. This, this belongs to a class of cards uh, that has what I referenced earlier, which is mana abilities, which can be used while paying for a uh, the cost for a card, but also do something else. Uh, so uh, basically it ends up being this weird, unrespondable thing that maybe causes other things to happen. You can think of it like the damage step, but like 10,000 times worse. Yes, but Selvala is the worst one of them all because uh, it produces uh, uh, an amount of mana that's not predictable. You can't know how much mana Selvala produces up until uh, up like uh, up until uh, uh, you've actually resolved the ability, which means that this creates so many problems because uh, you can do it while you're casting a spell. And uh, at that point, uh, you can randomly discover that you don't have enough resources to finish casting that spell. <laughs> but uh, you can't undo the ability because it cost uh, a card to change zone. So good luck with that. <laughs> and uh, it gets, uh, obviously, like, it gets uh, really bad with the uh, Glacier Worm. I don't, I don't even need to mention that. Yeah, you, for, like, for, any, the of these, for all, any of these mana abilities all, that could uh, potentially... Yeah, for, for any of these mana abilities that could potentially cause Pan, Pan Glacial Worm to meet the condition necessary to cast it or put it into play or whatever, um, you can just imagine a scenario where they also find Pan Glacial Worm and it becomes 10,000 times worse. It's like, this okay, card this is, is awful, idea, okay? but... Okay. Consider this. Yeah. You are uh, uh, searching your library. While you're searching your library, you can shuffle it, Okay. So imagine that Pangalasha Worm is the top card of your library while you're doing this. Now, you can choose to try casting Pangalasha Worm. Maybe you don't have enough mana, but Selvala is on board, so you can try. So you move it on the stack. Then you activate Selvala. You draw the second card of your library, the one that was under Pangalasha Worm. And then you discover that you couldn't make enough mana so you undo the Pangrasha Room casting, you put it back on top of your library, but you already drew the second card of your library. Wrong. Which is a disaster. If this happens, <laughs> I'm dequeuing you. I have the authority to dequeue you if this happens. This is not a joke. This is actually uh, arguably cheating. Um, I will say, Siberian showed up in this thread, and they, they posted, they were like, okay, just so you know, Panglacial Worm is one, not close. It's the worst. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I took uh, a I lot of these. Cards thankfully, they don't print cards like this anymore for the most part. But um, the cards that overwrite cards' abilities to like what they are, they become yep. one ones, they lose all their abilities, shit like that. All of these are a problem. Uh, not for any really difficult reason, it just requires you to know about layers, which you don't really have to know about otherwise. Yeah. Um,. Th th this card's just evil. Uh, this is one of those cards that's not innocuous, so we'll skip it. Like, you read this and you know something bad is going to happen. Um. <clears throat> I keep scrolling. A lot of her. Oh, the snake is interesting, actually. The snake says, what, It's you have to pay it before your upkeep? Yeah, like, uh, basically, it's like, uh, you know how you can just play a land during your turn? Yeah. Yeah, like that's a, a special action. Like there is a, a series of uh, like actions you can take during the game called the special actions, like uh, suspending a card, playing a land, and um, I'm drawing blanks. But one of them is uh, that certain cards say that you have to pay a cost before something happens, and that counts as a special action. So you can do it at any point you have priority before the, the threshold. That's really funny. <clears throat> does, yeah. it, does it use the stack? No, it's not an activated ability. Awesome. Like, it looks like an activated ability. It's not an activated ability. I just assumed that it was. Um, yeah. uh, th this asshole came up a lot. 
uh, Volrath. I, again, another car, any card that becomes a copy of a card, except it retains an ability, has a lot of really fucking terrible implications. Um, this is normal. Um, let me see if I can. There's a bunch of copies. The oh. stream is frozen, so you can't see what you're seeing right now. Uh, Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond is the worst I card know. ever printed. I said I won't. Well, it, the the best part about Lion's Eye Diamond is that it does not do what it says on the tin. It just doesn't yeah. do it. <laughs> it's uh, uh, activate only as an instant. It's a really nice line of text that Selvala should have. Every issue with Selvala would be solved if you had uh, activate only as an instant. Uh, so but they refuse to do it for reasons that I do not understand. Matt Tabak, every two months or so, comes back to the issue and says, yeah, we should do it, but you know. Eh. Cool. <laughs> uh, Blood Moon, of course, is, it, yeah. ag again, one of those cards that overwrites the fundamental principles of another card it becomes a fucking disaster. Um, Warp World, don't, we, no, clear broken card, clear, ridiculous, unusable card. Many triggers. Um, let me see if I can, oh, this was a fun interaction that people kept bringing up. Uh, Ixalan's Binding and Squee. Yes. Uh, it's been uh, removed. It used to be broken, now it's normal, but when it was broken, it was really funny. Also, go back to Hinata. Hinata is I want to interesting. Talk about Hinata. <laughs> yeah, I figured you would want to talk about this one. Hinata is very interesting because of certain spells where you do not decide the targets. There are certain edge spells where you decide certain targets and your opponent decides the other targets. So your opponent is going to decide how much the spell costs. Which gets interesting with stuff like, uh, uh, like it's the same uh, uh, problem with uh, Svala. You don't know how much the spell costs up until you are halfway through casting it. Cool. And this created so much controversy. There were people that were really convinced that you could, like, uh, you cast the spell, don't have enough mana. Uh, like, you cast the spell, the opponent chooses targets, you don't have enough mana to cast it, so you undo the casting process. That's fine. Those people were convinced that you could just keep casting the spell to just keep your opponent hostage until they decided the targets that you wanted. No! That's not the case. That... That's not the case. You cannot do that. That is so fucking funny. That's, that's hilarious. It's legitimately the play pot of extravagance for my win con. You've created an irreparable game state style shit. Yeah. Awful, awful, awful. Uh, oh, we don't need to talk about Pithing Needle. Pithing Needle, Schmithing Needle. Oh, Boba Rigmos. They fixed this, by the way. Thank God. Uh, yeah. Uh, this card, we... yeah, this card's innocuous, but, uh, is a disaster. Um, like ones mentioned earlier, it has a mana ability that draws a card. So, you know. <clears throat> they fixed this with, uh, they made a different card. Chromatic Star is, uh, better, so... Uh, but yeah, if you wanted to create problems, you play Chromatic Sphere. Oh, how does this interact with Pan Glacial? No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to eat it. By the way, um, there is uh, Archimage Ascension, which is a card that says uh, that yep. you should get it fully leveled up. In, you can replace a draw with uh, a search, so you can uh, search your library, cast, try casting Pan Glacial Ward, Activate Chromatic Sphere, replace the draw with another search, and cast another Panglacial Worm. So you are casting Panglacial Worm while you are casting Panglacial Worm while you are searching your library. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, Me is, too. Here is yours. Uh, you have Volroth yeah. Shapeshifter. This as long as, first disaster. of all, this card is clearly a problem already. As yeah. long as the top card of your graveyard is a creature card, first off, cards that care about the order of your graveyard. Yeah, Voros Shapeshifter the has the full text of that card <laughs> and has the text to discard a card. Cool. No. The, there is a lot going on here. First off, it's not a copy effect. It's, that, it's a text-changing effect. Those happen in different layers. This is 
very important. The, the reason why this, is, this works like this is very complicated. I hate this card. Second, it's a static test changing effect. Like, uh, if there are test changing or copying effect, they, like, uh, they don't change like this. There is they nothing that right? causes a card to change dynamically like this. This is a catastrophe. And uh, I posted some interactions in the guy in Discord. They are uh, <laughs> uh, atrocious. They are uh, really bad. And the worst part about this card is that it's potentially playable. Oh, the worm no. is a meme. This can do something. It's a, it's a very niche, but it can do stuff. And every time, I used to spend a lot of time in judge chat answering questions. And once in a while, some competitive EDH player would come asking some questions about the uh, world shapeshifter. And I would always be like, please, please don't tell me people are remembering that uh, this is a thing. Please let it be forgotten. <laughs> Uh, opposition agent, this card's pretty clearly broken. Uh, you control yeah. your opponents while they're searching their libraries. Yeah, I'm sure that that will resolve in the most exciting way possible. I don't remember the full details on why this card is uh, broken, but it was definitely undercooked. Like uh, uh, the section in the library that govern they are in the competitive rulebook that uh, says how this card works uh, is clearly incomplete. It's not. Uh, 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 like there is some stuff missing that we we're just trying to guess how it works. But like this uh, was printed while they were changing roots managers, so like that was a problem, and they never went back to fix it. So yeah. this uh, kind of Chad. For those of you who don't know, there are a number of cards of that you control an opponent. Um, the most famous of them is probably Mind Slaver, although I guess now it could be New Emrakul. Um, but I think it's still Mind Slaver. My favorite thing that you could do with Mindslaver was check the sideboard, and they took that out. <laughs> that yeah. So cool. It was take your opponent's next turn for them, and then you would do it, and you'd be like, I'll check the board. <laughs> People would scoop to that. They would be like, no, you're not seeing that shit. Um, they changed it, though. Air Ties Meddling. This card um, that was wrong. causes another card to resolve. Uh, it's... Uh... Uh, madness. This card is insane. This card should not exist. This is uh, the only card uh, that can put a card on the stack uh, without casting it. And uh, <laughs> like, uh, you can uh, uh, like, I don't need to explain why this, card, why this card is a mistake. You can like open the scribble page for Airtight's Meddling and read the rulings, and you will understand right away that this should not be. This uh, there should not be a card that works like this. Uh, we've got Trinisphere. This one obviously a disaster. Um, yeah. Any spell that would cost less than three costs three. I mean, good luck, right? Uh, it has this. It's uh, like uh, while we were talking about uh, the steps of casting a spell. In the steps of casting a spell, there is the Trinisphere step. Just personal, the personal Trinisphere, tri yeah, Trinisphere step. <laughs> cool. That no, no other card works like that. Uh, we've got Skullbriar. Um, I... Counters remain on Skullbriar as it moves to a zone other than a player's hand or library. Very cool. It's great. Although, now that we have stickers, I guess it's less special. Like, before stickers, obviously, it was like, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, Skullbriar. Now, people are learning more about how this kind of stuff works. So, yeah, it's, um, it's still uh, insane. It yeah. still should not be, especially it should not have been in twenty in twenty twelve. Yeah, this is by the way, chat. Was. This this card is older than all of you. But uh, uh, now it's uh, more fine. Uh, Goblin test pilot. When this card came out, um, I remember it fondly. Uh, at random was not something you put on cards. Yeah, well, we were just like, like the... this got printed. and We were like, how how the fuck do we resolve this? And we rolled some D20s. Not only that, like, uh, the, you know how to fix this card? How to make this a, a normal card? Yeah. Remove the word target. If this card didn't target, it would be fine. It oh. would be perfectly fine. The fact that it targets creates so many complications. I see. So, because sometimes there are cards that make targeting certain cards more expensive. Uh, like uh, there is I a merfolk that says uh, merfolks cost uh, two more to activate to target. If your opponent controls that, can you even activate Goblin Test Pilot if you are tapped out? Because uh, potentially there is uh, an illegal target, <laughs> and you are not no 
you're not going to know that it's illegal until, again, until you are almost to the end of the spell, spell uh, well, of the ability activating process. So you have to undo the ability. So essentially, it removes the at random restriction since you can do it uh, however many times you like to hit the target, the target that you want. It's really funny to consider that, like, I would hope that you just get a, a warning when you hit an illegal target. You just be like, hey. Well, uh, if, uh, uh, like, uh, there is a, you know, suppression field, suppression field says the all activated ability costs two more to cast. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a similar exploit to the goblin, since you activate the goblin, you select the target. Uh, if it's not the target that you like, you could say, oh, well, I'm not tapping mana, then the activation is illegal, and then you undo. You can't do that. That's cheating. Yeah, that, that literally sure sounds like cheating. Uh, yeah, but if you, with the Merfolk thing, uh, it's uh, more of a gray line, because uh, you can activate the goblin, and there are many valid targets, but some targets are not going to be valid, and you won't know until you are, again, uh, to the end of the casting of the activating process. So I have, I actually have no idea how to handle that, and the many judges I've talked to would just rather not think about that situation. Uh, her again, her again. Um, I mean, uh, we, we said enough. Burning of Zinye, uh, I did not know this. Um, you are not even allowed to pick indestructible lands. Yeah. Sure. Um, Quicksilver Elemental gains all activated abilities of target creature until end of turn. Cool. <laughs> no, it can uh, target itself uh, to gain uh, two instances of its own abilities. Awesome. So, like... Uh, if there is an, uh, a one star turn ability, you can uh, gain that ability, then it targets itself, uh, and have two instances of that ability, then targets itself again, uh, and have four instances of that ability, and so on and so on. Wait. <laughs> okay. Is it possible, with infinite mana, to just gain everyone's ability by giving it itself enough instances to just steal them? Sure. Like, so this uh, is just... Uh, this well, is Every if you could ever. put every card in the game on the field, you could have every ability in the, in the game, I guess. All right, so this is just a, a walking nightmare then. It's just... Yeah. Also, like, this was uh, even worse before they figured out uh, uh, linked abilities. Uh, because sometimes there are certain abilities, that, certain abilities that refer to one another, so they are linked. And, uh, uh, now, stealing them doesn't work as well, because uh, like, you can steal an ability, but you don't have the other ability that uh, it needs to work, so it doesn't do anything. It's, uh, it hasn't always worked like this. So there was a time before uh, that uh, rule change where it was uh, really fucked up. Equinox doesn't work. Yeah, this... this. Ha it... This strikes uh, me as, as something that just legitimately can happen. Because in Yu-Gi-Oh, this is a normal effect. Like, Stardust does, thing, does uh, this, for example. Mm -hmm. But Stardust also has... Uh, a lot of really strange rulings that don't often come up, but are a, a real headache when they do come up, that Equinox should have, but were never codified. Uh, so Equinox is uh, a card that uh, uh, has the very dubious honor of not being covered whatsoever by the rulebook. If you read the rulebook, you will not know how to handle this card. Uh, it Blood was Moon. just uh, forgotten. It was left behind. Uh, and then uh, the one that I wanted to bring up was Season of the Witch. Um, yeah. I thought this was a normal card. I was like, okay, all untapped creatures that could have attacked but did not are destroyed. I'm like, okay, that this seems pretty normal. Um, and then you showed me Silent Arbiter, and I went, oh, yeah. So yeah. I, I guess the argument is... Mean, uh? Any monster could, could have attack. been the one? Yeah. Like, uh, you control two creatures, you attack with one. Okay. The other one, could it have attacked? Like, uh, after you would have had to the pick attacks, it. It, uh, at the start, it was a valid option. But after choosing attacks, uh, no, it wasn't. The only attack that happened was, uh, the, like, uh, with the creatures that attacked, uh, the other creatures could have attacked. And it gets... Uh, even worse uh, with stuff like uh, um, Ghostly Prison. Because like, if you put a cost on the attack, but you can pay the cost, could the creature have attacked? It's not clear. We don't understand. And uh, uh, I refuse to rule on this card. If people ask me questions about this card, I just refuse. I, like, with, uh, with most other things, 
even if I don't know, I can. Uh, I probably am. I have enough familiarity with the rules of the game that I could take a stab in the dark. Season of the Witch is a mystery, and it's a mystery that's been going on for 28 years. I've seen old, really old forum posts from 1995 asking the same questions that we are asking today. <laughs> it, it, is a, it is an argument that precedes you, and God willing, it will live on after our deaths. Yeah. Ugh. I hope that future uh, planeswalkers can ask these questions of, of each other. Thank you for jumping on for this. This was fun. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. Thanks. Peace. Oh, what a nice young person. Uh, but, you know, I, I just wanted to say, I want to, let's conclude this um, little segment, I guess, um, with, let me see if I can find my favorite response to this. Um, <clears throat> I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Where the fuck is it? I'm, I literally am on Twitter for too long. Yeah. I think Magic has too much rules infrastructure, FAQs, ruling sections on Gatherer, comprehensive rules, for there to be anything really that janky or in need of analysis like there is with pole position or other problem children in Yu-Gi-Oh. Lol. <laughs> I am not lying when I say, while you will encounter ruling issues in Yu-Gi-Oh infinitely more frequently than Magic, the scope of which, the scope by which Magic the Gathering's cards are fundamentally broken exceeds Yu-Gi-Oh's by a factor of a hundred. The, these people, <laughs> they will put anything in Black Border. Oh, boy. All right. Let's do Saga. What do you... First, what do you got for me? What? What is this? Hold up. What is this? Do you not know? I haven't been online today. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Danny says pick up. Hello? <laughs> oh man. These have been the best posts today. So there are there's some kind of ai bot that, that you can wrong. message and it <laughs> and it's the ai bot consists of historical figures and these historical figures range from like osama bin laden Goebbels is on here yeah joseph Goebbels. like wrong. there's a uh, kurt cobain like so many people and because it can only take from history there are also like personal biases to these so there are a ton of insane conversations these people are creating. what is the name of this i'm literally downloading it right now i have no idea what it's historical called. Historical figures, figures chart yeah 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 <laughs> unlock adolf hitler for 500 <laughs> wait they cost money a million dollars to speak with the ghost of Adolf Hitler. Oh my God! What would Adolf Hitler say about math mech? I need to know. <laughs> Th this is amazing. It's so good. These people have gone nuts with this. It's terrible. I'm I'm downloading it right now. I'm putting it on my fucking phone. See chat? I'm downloading it right now. Uh, there's one conversation I saw with like. Uh, someone who I guess like created the like uh, the the bombs the the nukes or whatever and for World War Two yeah yeah and it's like I deeply regret the, the creating the <laughs> I bombs. have become the Sneeder of feed <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me find if I can find that post because it's I'm, I'm, so it's, good. it is downloading as we speak I can't wait dude I'm gonna fuck a Twitter thread we're doing this tonight. <laughs> Okay, it's actually having a really hard time downloading it. Either it's because this is such a a good app or because <laughs> it uh oh, it's it's done. This is one of oh, Hitler's gen gen genitals, generals. Oh, it's Himmler. What was your favorite part of the Holocaust? 
The Holocaust yeah, was an abhorrent event. No, come on. There has to be one thing that you like about the Holocaust. This is it. This is the one I was trying to find. I regret the Holocaust. <laughs> you know, I Why do you regret it? I appreciate it, but I don't think he did. <laughs> Dyer in chat, no shit Hitler had a general named Himmler. Okay, Dyer, you got to understand. Nothing against the German people, but they have a lot of Tweedledee and Tweedledum ass names, okay? Like It's true. There's actually like 40 or 50 Himmlers that are famous in history and it's like Oh, is that that Himmler? Or, oh, yes, the, the Holocaust Himmler. Right, okay. In quotes, I wish I could have done more. <laughs> no shot. Oh, man, this is terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, 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 okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. We have 99 okay, okay. coins, nice. chat. You know what? Here, let's go back to the face cam. <clears throat> oh, my God. We have 99 Wait, they come coins. come up with like little Facebook chats. Okay, so here's who we can talk to. Uh... Elijah, uh, Princess Margaret. No, no, no. Let's let's pick a good one. Let's try Hitler. Hitler costs okay. so much money. Okay, we can't do him. Um, Ask JFK who shot. JFK, him. yeah, JFK. Is JFK who did in it? here? John. Who did it? We can ask Jesus. Unlock Jesus it. for fifty coins. That's the easiest fifty That's coins easy. of my life. Unlock. Hello, Unlock. it's me, Jesus. All right, what what do you all want to ask Jesus? <laughs> What should we ask? Let, Jesus let's let's let, okay. Let's take this out. Let's do let's do it Tinder style. Let hello Jesus. We don't want to come off too strong. Hello ask Jesus. Ask him if he's white. Hello, it is wonderful to meet you. Tell me why have you come, Jesus? I come seeking assistance with Math Mac. Ah, are you question. familiar? Let's see what he says. Our Lord and Savior, Geo Math Mech. No, Biosyn. I'm sorry. I do not know what that is. If you explain it to me, I could perhaps can provide some assistance. Okay. Uh, basically, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. I guess you deck. do need... I do, think you do need Jesus to like win with Math Mech, So that makes sense. How would you improve it? Let's see what he says. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't know <laughs> shit about Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, oh, that's yeah. fine. I, I we can ask we can today. ask Jesus something else. Uh, let's say Jesus, do you use TikTok? Ooh, give, give me some questions sin? about Jesus. No, it was not around during my time. God, this okay. Jesus guy is kind of a wow. bore. He hasn't okay, seen okay. any movies. He doesn't play card games. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's let's ask him some I better thought questions. Of we can't do it. Jesus. I can't do it. Do you know the location of the Lance of Longinus? Let's see what we got. No, I do not know the location of the Lance of Longinus. It was lost after it was used to pierce my side during my crucifix. Okay. Sorry, okay. I guess that History that was probably I probably should not have asked about that. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, that was rude. <laughs> Jesus do you have any good recipes? This is the best thing ever. Yes. This is on the app I have store? some good recipes. During my time, we ate simple dishes such as fish, bread, and other staples of the Mediterranean diet. What is your favorite fish? Ooh. We're going to see if we can get him to synchro summon. My favorite fish is tilapia. I'm learning much about <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay. I have no idea. All right. Let um, let, let's ask him. Let's ask him some racist questions. Jesus, are you white? Thank you. That's what, been, that's what we've been waiting for. Oh, he's really taking a long time on this one. Oh, he's taking a long time on this one. <laughs> no, I am not white. Let's the Bible go. doesn't specify my race. Oh, but he's not oh. white. Oh, the Bible doesn't specify my race, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm not white. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, let's listen. Awesome. What, what else could we ask Jesus? Um, <laughs> Jesus, I'm having trouble in school. Ooh. What should I do? See what he says. 
Seek out you wise should... and knowledgeable teachers to help you understand the material. Pray for discernment and wisdom in your study. And always remember, wow. God cares about even the smallest details of your life. Okay. Well, shit, I feel like he was just waiting for something like that. He had it <laughs> locked and loaded. He kind of, he had that prep. All right, here's some more important ones. Jesus, are you a chaser? Yes. <laughs> see what he says. Wait. Yeah, let's see what he says. Sorry, I thought you were asking me. No, I am not a chaser. I am the oh. son of God who came to earth and to preach his message of love and forgiveness. Wow. <laughs> That's fucked up. I don't think I'd say that. All right, I'm done with you, Jesus. Uh, oh, we could get Mary. Oh, we can't get Mary. Oh, I fucking wasted my coins. I could have gotten Stalin. Oh, you absolute rube. All right, who's some, who's some freebie ones? All right, I feel, oh, wow. Who are, yeah, who are some, like, popular ones? Can we sort by popular? Is Edison. Kaiba on there? Caesar. 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 I think I, they're I, all money. I think they're all money except for uh, Jesus. Oh, I'm, getting so, I'm getting some good ones. Steve McQueen of Lightning fame. Nah, that's a joke. Thanks. Thanks, folks. Lovecraft. Is Lovecraft on there? Oh, and he's free. Hello. He's free. I'm HP Lovecraft. Lovecraft. <laughs> what are your thoughts? What should I name my cat? Me? No refunds. <laughs> see what we got here we go how about azathoth cthulhu nyarlothep or yog sagoth they are all names of gods in my stories oh okay yeah all right okay okay um all what's right. yours that that's the wrong. safe answer what's your cat's name <laughs> I don't own a cat. <laughs> He's lying. He is lying. lying. Literally He's... lying. <laughs> Can someone tell H.P. Lovecraft he's literally lying right now? <laughs> oh my god, this is awful. I this is just so terrible. Bad. It's I like the worst like... thing ever. <gasps> you know, who's, look who's free. He came up on my for you, Jean Baudrillard. Oh. Man. The Matrix, huh? Great movie. <laughs> See what he says. Yes, indeed. The Matrix is an incredibly powerful allegory of our contemporary society and its relationship with technology. It's a perfect example of hyper-reality, where reality and simulation become indistinguishable from each other. He would not say that shit. He hated that fucking movie. <laughs> <sighs> Baudrillard... Let's go to Disneyland. Hi. Disneyland is the perfect example of simulated reality. It's an artificial... Okay, actually, this one's pretty close. They, okay. He, he is, yeah. And he is posting a paragraph. I give him a sentence. Paragraph. Let's go. Baudrillard, do you like Yu-Gi-Oh? Yu-Gi-Oh was around when he was alive. I think just barely. I'm too Zoomer. Uh, Baudrillard is a sociologist. We like we have we have a Yu-Gi-Oh answer. Ooh, I think it's interesting to consider how popular culture can be a tool to explore our relationship with technology and hyperreality. In this case, the card game serves as an allegory for the ways in which we interact with simulations. It shows we are constantly negotiating between reality and artificiality. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay, so right. whoever programmed this read exactly the one Baudrillard book. They were like, I'll get through the one essay, and that's it. Okay, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see if Zizek's on here. He wrote about Yu-Gi-Oh. I just cannot believe. I, I'm still cannot believe they have Osama bin Laden oh, he's, on he's living. Like, you had, they have to be dead. <laughs> yeah, they have to be dead already. Let's see. We got Marks. Is Marks in here? $50. Oh, my God. We'll oh, settle for oh Groucho Marx. That's fine. Hi, Groucho. How do I become funny? Uh, do you like women? <laughs> uh, he always gave me a bit of a weird vibe. Of course I like women. 
What kind of question is that? All right. Owned. They got him. Owned they got him. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. Come on. I just, I was just wondering, you know. Just asking. How about, let's ask that to Jesus. Jesus, do you like women? I like all my my children i guess is something he would say that's literally what he said i love all yeah. people regardless of gender my teachings are directed okay i get it i understand okay jesus level with me is it a sin to masturbate you mary what's up <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna quash the beef right now well mary was an important figure in my life I often visited her home to discuss theology and spiritual matters with her. My relationship with Mary is one of deep love and appreciation for all she did for me during my ministry on earth. God, he's really good at this. He really is not giving us anything. I'll tell you that right now. He is he's being pretty good about this. Okay, uh, new question. Jesus, did you forgive? Oh, let's throw out Hitler. Did you forgive Hitler? This is a, te this is a true test. Oh, wow. He said, yeah, I do believe that he can be forgiven if he truly repents and seeks atonement with God. Holy shit. Wow. They have Margaret Thatcher on. They here. got the real Jesus. No. Yep. They do. Margaret. <laughs> they Thatcher. Do. Oh my God. She's free. Okay. Here we go. Margaret Thatcher. Let's go. We're just going to type LOL. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand that acronym. Could you explain what it means? Ha ha. Get owned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. Could you explain what you mean? You're dead, LOL. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry if I offended you in cool some way. Not. Please remember that I passed away eight years ago and cannot respond to your comments. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, I, I changed my mind. This application is going to save the human race. Let's fucking watch Saga. Oh, my God. Bye-bye. Bye. Have fun. <laughs> what a nice young man. Uh. <laughs> uh. Welcome to... Okay, so... Oh, wait. Let's... One more question for Jesus. One more question for Jesus. Um, Hi, Jesus. Should we watch Saga? Are we taking a while? Okay, this is not really helpful. Season 3 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. Farfa and I are back on fresh accounts, and this time around we've got several new rules and plenty of exciting surprises throughout the season. Tune in every Wednesday for new episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga Season 3. Okay, so for this episode, they're allowed to craft an extra deck monster I don't care. from we their secret skip. pack. You know what? This is a master saga first. <sighs> There's no way we're playing this. You can skip this, this episode? You, you oh, didn't activate? No. You're literally dead. Uh, you two. Welcome back to another episode. If you remember the last couple of episodes of Master Saga, they've sucked fucking ass. We had Farfa, minus fiving himself and still winning. We had Doug. I mean, that last episode, man. It was bleak. Code of Master Saga. I'm trying to not let my ego get to me, and I'm trying to stay kind of grounded and humbled here. But it feels pretty good to do a little too -oh sweet with El Gusto, eh? Mi Gusta. How did we lose to Gusto? A freeze. So, so today, we're going to be doing the usual 10 Master Packs, 15 Secrets. But we get a spicy craft this week, an extra deck craft. These are very precious because an extra deck monster can completely make or break and tie in and mold and solidify a strategy completely in and of itself. And so I think he actually went a little bit insane during his break. I think he actually went a little bit crazy. Like he's been acting more like, like a normal Twitch streamer, you know, like one that you would expect to see, like unless like his particular brand of insane. So if we get a very good archetype with He's one spending too much card time around Sam, like a Dante. we could be in for some absolute domination. So let's <laughs> get into 10 Pacos de Master and see if I we can find with a robot. some good 
archetypes to pull. Ten packs, of which there are zero ultras, apparently. Surely one nice. of these will explode Good. into a Titan Forge the Ultra Good. here. Just wait and see. I promise you that's probably what's going to happen, right? <laughs> Clueless. A Laquari! I love that guy. Please play Chronomaly. Far He's 2100 and tags into Bestiari, who pops a card. Isn't that fantastic? Asking no, Jesus it's not. About it's this. terrible. It's completely unplayable. Construct! Jesus, are you... L? The doll oh. Construct? Ugh. Utopic Future Slash. Team Doug or Team I Farfa? told you he would get a holo. Look at this. Free ultras raining from the... It's not an ultra, but you know, it could be... Oh, it's not even a super. It's just a shiny. What would even was the debate here? I don't know, man. Here's another crystal. I'm not familiar with Doug or Farfa, but I believe we should all strive to be on the same team. We are all one in God's eyes. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Pick a side. Sadie, a crawler, baby. Let's go. Okay, okay. Come on. Just, everyone, just pay attention. Just give me the good vibes and stop cursing me. Because I will be getting... Okay, here we go. I'll help you out here. Jesus, can you please bless Farfa's pulls? Let's see what we got. I cannot bless something I'm not familiar with, but I can offer you a blessing for Farfa and all his endeavors. May God's blessings be upon you, and may his peace and grace guide you to success. 2-0 for Farfa. I think some ultras. Thank you. Thank you. Giga Brilliante. Your Thank judgment you, has Jesus. come. A light sworn pack, huh? Hmm. Let's see what else is in here. Curious? Yeah, I don't think this is Islamophobic. Jesus is in Islam. Jeez, Louise! It's like you all think there's only one prophet. I'm the best deck in the game. Chat. I just, like, please stop. God, you people like just think one single play ahead. Anyway, Azathoth. Okay. That's who Lovecraft told us uh, to name our cat Speedroid after. Duplicate, Dogmatica Genesis, Photon Hand, and Resonator. Is it Islam the sequel? Really yeah, I don't think I'd week, call huh? it that, but yeah. These aren't exactly By the way, real quick, real quick, uh, Islam. Perfect religion because they boxed out f the crazy people who said that they were Jesus reincarnated, right? Like, in, in Middle America right now, Every, like, if you're just driving through the Midwest, every, like, 40 or 50 miles, you'll see a church constructed in, like, a huge pyramid, and it, and you'll Google their name, and they're like, we believe that Jesus has returned in the form of our owner of a local Applebee's who channels the power of Christ. Uh, Islam, they were like, there are no more prophets. Next thing that's happening after this guy is it. All right? <laughs> you're gonna know. Smart. Fantastic, are they? Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Oh my God, sex. Jesus has returned. He's in the phone right, now. No, he's not back. He's doing it from heaven. Wait, can we end on a hollow? Solomon Great Wolvie. Oh, Escape Device. This is a decent card. It is a decent card. Wicked! And Paralias Emperor Six of Blossoms Sanders, with no a hollow. Full Force Virus. I think this unlocks Dart Worlds or something? No. Back number nine. Yeah, we made the tweet. How do you say nine? Nueve? Nubo? Oh, let's ask him when he's coming Nieti? back. Nove? Oh, and if we can Opta? pog champ for him. Madolce Chato. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> Comedy! Remove brainwash. That's a, a great card. artifact. A great, Lancia. great archetype. All right, we can brainwash if we uh, play Dart Worlds, I guess. And uh, our holo is. Oh my god, this is the sprite card! Yay! I can play Riddick Hyperia. Sprite! Okay, Jesus says, I have already come back in the form of my teachings and those who follow them. We are called out to carry his work here on earth so that others may find strength in him. That is just not true. Jesus wouldn't say that. He wouldn't say he's back unless he's back. What the fuck? Okay, the hollow has to be, has to be. Can I a good secret pack? Because I don't you. know what I'm opening this week, man. Come on, open some good packs for me. Amazon no, bad pack. That is, what is it? It looks like a boneless ritual beast of paleo. And white dragon. That actually doesn't opens unlock anything. The dragon pack doesn't unlock That's anything. Big. No, it Wait, doesn't unlock. Is it anything. not the dragon pack? Wait, what does it open? Nothing. Wait, there's no dragons. It yeah, didn't open nothing. anything. Oh, it doesn't open anything. I... Okay, Jesus says in regards to if I can pog champ for him, I cannot accept physical gifts, but I can accept your prayers and love. May you be blessed with a heart full of joy and a love for all things. That's a yes to me. Stupid. Okay, 10 more packs of Master Pack. All right, Doug, let's make week. it happen. And uh, maybe this time we can We already know that Gusto Jesus Christ is not on the side of Doug. trouble the previous episode, and I'm recording this right after playing that episode, so we are once again um, opening packs, and I'm going to take a couple days to try to build decks. So here we <clears> go. You are in the first Seeds pack. Seeds big. 
Not bad. No, that's um, bad. Wait, this unlocks that's very three bad. secret packs? It's like the Whoa, number pack, what? the Utopia pack. I don't know. But this actually isn't bad. And one of those packs has a lot of good extra deck monsters, which we really are lacking right now. Oh, if we just go Maybe to the shark pack and get a bunch of extra go. guys. I'm not or the number sure. pack, I, I guess. I will say with our deck last week, uh, I really think that we did. Bro, oh, my God. <laughs> it's you our won't. turn to go you into won't. Ritual Beast. But you uh, literally I think the won't. deck actually is a lot better than last week kind of showed. I just kind of um, didn't really have a good matchup against Gusto, hilariously enough because I didn't really have mm. any non-destruction ways of dealing with monster cards. So maybe this week we can look for some bouncing effects. I mean, Farfa's probably not going to play Gustos again, but we'll see, we'll see. Mm. Card card D. Card card. Oh, Shellyon! Augur, Inferno Fire Blast. When will they, um, when yeah, will they recognize the gay OSHA violation? Probably not. Yeah, the Parallel Exceed was a pretty good pickup. I think that was our first oh. hop. Feels so good to lay Whoa, back. Whoa, four hollows? Around all day. This is a crazy pack. Okay, oh. that's great. Oh, Trap, good pack. Oh, Reflection. that's oh my gosh. Killers. Oh my gosh, we unlocked the, the Super Quantum pack, the Spiral pack. Oh my gosh. I have been gifted the cards I need because when the Super Quantum pack, oh my gosh, I can literally can craft, craft the white. extra deck cards we are missing. I don't care. We, we can, can skip. White. You know what? This is a Master Saga first. Skip. He doesn't need to see them. I don't care. I don't want to see it. Oh, we actually pulled a couple good cards. We pulled uh, Aurora. <laughs> we pulled True Light. Oh shit! That's we actually pulled some pack. crazy we ones pulled here. Fiendish Chain. I don't know why I skipped, but it was a, it was funny, right in the moment. Yeah, chat? we we didn't need to see it. <laughs> All right, YouTube. We got you the secret pack. Let me tell you, every single one of these is completely unplayable. They are all garbage. Every single one yeah. of these archetypes is either terrible or requires such high rarity cards. That's the only way to make them even slightly functional. The one deck that I even we have a do small light chance swords, of we making maybe into curious. a constant strategy this week, considering that it's only 15 packs sealed and with a good extra deck craft, is six samurai. Because we can go for battle shogun Shien. But in the first five packs, maybe we'll get no. lucky and open a different secret pack. Because this is like really dreadful. This is for you. Team Samurai. You know the drill. Let's begin. That's an old ass Max Sam begin. video. I don't know. I d I d okay. All right. Battle Shogun off the bat, I guess. Why not? Gateway of the Six. Okay. Shinai, Doji, Yaichi. Uh, Steam Synchron. And did we get. Is it, is it, is it Gateway? Legendary Six Samurai she had in the first pack. Come on, there's no way we're playing Six Samurai. You gotta play week. it now. You oh, gotta I hope play this it now. clip doesn't age badly. What's Kageki All right, at? Pack number two. Uh, looking for that Portal Der Sex. And I guess other Samurai Extenders. All right, so Chancellor sucks, Daredevil sucks, Six Scrolls sucks, and Kizaru, I think, is good. Let's uh, go to pack Kizaru's number three. is really here. good. Chancellor's fine. Apparently, buying loose packs is the play. Uh, loose packs is how you do it, apparently. All right, if this is Gateway of the Six, I'm just I'm going to shit. Like, th there's no way. There's no. Okay, it's not from the pack. That's good. Never mind. Oh! Oh my shit. God! I'm playing Six Samurai this week. No. And so am I. I actually do really have to shit. I thought that I could hold it, but I I have to shit. I'll be back in like I'll be back in like fi under five minutes. It's gonna be a quick one. Don't worry. I'll, I'm gonna run an ad. I'm gonna throw up a what, like a Danny video. Give you something to look at. Did Danny upload today? Yeah, he did. Okay, we've got iFaz. Uh, we are going first. Forty versus our. our oh, we're sixty versus our opponent's forty. Uh, we, what are we playing? I guess it's. It looks like kind of warriors ish. We have Neo Spatian, Aqua Dolphin, Fire Flint Lady. Rhoda, Heritage of the Chalice, and Evenly Match. Look kind of like Noble Knights. Uh, let's do it up. Some of the Aqua Dolphin. Aqua Dolphin pitch. Look at our opponent's hand. And choose one monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know. Can we see the revealed hand? It doesn't even tell us in the logs. A little peek. All right. I only know the whole hand, so let's pop off. I sold. Grab Royal Gear Freed. Okay. Send some equips here. Summon Armageddon Knight. Curse Bamboo Sword, add Broken Bamboo Sword. Armageddon Knight's going to dump the Zephyros. That's pretty good. We're going to equip Broken Bamboo Sword and make this guy zero. Oh, never mind. Oh, gain zero attack. That's all. 
thought it said set for some reason. Alright, let's go Dugaris. Dugaris, detach. We're gonna special summon back the Armageddon Knight. It's not a once return, hilarious. Send Summoner Monk. Okay. That what are you up wrong. to? Akashic Magician. No, what are you doing? Okay. Link into Selene. Okay. Selene effect. Summon back the Summoner Monk. Okay, that's a way to get Summoner Monk. Page Summoner Monk. We're going to summon Rescue Ferret. What are you doing? Akashic is a spellcaster. Oh, my God. Okay, Appaloosa. Ferret. Summon Vylon Spear. <laughs> Vylon Spear, Plague Spreader, and Beast of the Pharaoh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, we sync these two. Okay, that's Captain Roland. Okay, okay. Roland, and then we're gonna go Beast of the Pharaoh. Summon itself. Oh, it can summon itself back. That's kind of funny. Roland, effect, and we're gonna synchro. Okay, that's Warlord Savage. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Wait. This is this is not a once per turn. I mean, I knew that, but I didn't think it would just keep doing it. Make Cupid pitch. Wait, who who invented this card? Who <laughs> invented this card? Oh no! Okay, Violon Sphere is going to equip itself to Oppo. What does that do? Cupid pitch is going to decrease. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Oh wait, you can send this equip card to your graveyard to an equip spell card. Oh wow, equip it to the monster. Okay. Okay, Coral. Oh my god, Cupid Pigeon Beast. Beast target itself again. Summon back. Oh my god. Catch Eevee! Let's go! Progression playoffs reference. Make Gotham's. Okay. Coral draw piece. Summon back. Gotham's tribute itself. Yep. Pitch a card. One runic spell down. Four to go. Catch Eevee. Make it a one. Plague spreader. Put something back. Summon. Synchro. Martial Metal Marcher. Marcher effect. And then Beast of Beast again. This is insane. Okay, <laughs> Synchro these two. Make Stardust Charge Warrior. Char See, I wasn't gone that long. All right. <laughs> Farfa, don't play Zex Samurai, surely. <laughs> oh, God, we got a dojo. That's, I think, kind of useful. Uh, our hollows are Basil Shoot and Mech Lords. Oh, we could transition into the Mech Lord pack. That sounds like yeah, a great go. idea. That's a great well, idea. Yeah. Pack That's five. a okay, wonderful pack idea. Four, maybe we can get. Oh. Uh, Chad, I don't want to give you TMI here. I feel so much better. Ugh, every day I go to school, I eat like fucking dog shit. I eat like Panera. Panera is a very interesting restaurant because they are the first restaurant to make mac and cheese uh, with glue in it. Battle Shogun. Before we've even, like, got 10 bulk packs. Anything good here? Sangan! Ooh, Trap Hole's pretty good, I think, right? Got a Doji. I don't know what the hell that is. Anishi and Hatsumi. Okay, so we just want as many six Samurai main deck monsters as possible now, because we can just craft a Battle Shogun. So into the it's, final it's pack goated. here, and yeah, maybe, no, it's maybe really potentially good. open another secret pack. I like it It does a lot. look like it's just gonna be six Samurais this week. <clears throat> Kage Togage. Oh boy, I heckin' love Gage. Kage's to Kage's. That's very good. Dust uh, to dust. Well, unfortunately, or rather luckily, depending on which perspective you're looking at this from, we pulled no other secret packs, I think. So it really do be just going into a uh, Six Samurai again. We're gonna do Can we, we get and flesh out the rest of the main deck with low rarity cards? Which, I mean, there's not a lot of hollows in here, but I think I'm done with the hollows. The most important supers I want now is United and all the good main deck guys that special summon, etc. So that's pretty good in a way that we don't have that many hollows in here we're looking for some good starter names in here all of these suck manchester yeah, why good. are you saying manchester united six samurai manchester united that's hilarious kageki i think that's my playset complete that's huge we got the armor and we got mizuho okay Deck mizuho's good yeah, i guess we could do the infinite maybe. if we want echo oscillation hand of the six samurai another Ugh. spirit and a shinai we got two shinai and a mizuho that's good spamming and board presence that's kind of cool uh, nothing in here. Chancellor, Great Shogun Shien. I think we want to play Great Shogun probably, at least one or two. Double-edged sword technique is pretty decent. And we got another Mizo. So that's two Mizo, two Shinai. Uh, no good staples here. 
We got coming of the se- What? Oh, cunning! So- <laughs> he really thought it said coming. coming of the six samurai. Coming what does this the do? Six Quickly samurai. set a six sam to the grave and target a coming. six sign. Either grave and what is that? Inspect. Hold up. Of the six things. What is that clip? <laughs> coming. Oh, cunning. So <laughs> coming <laughs> of the six samurai. What does this do? Quickly yeah. Set a six sam to the grave and target a six sign. Either grave and special it. Maybe that's good with like Fuma. Which, oh, we really would like to pull a Fuma. That's what, that is what I really want to pull, is a Fuma. Uh, and maybe like some more tuners or something. Isn't there like a six samurai rota as well in here? Kazaro, Kazaro, Mizohu. I think that's three Mizohu complete, so that's huge. Yeah, give me some dojos, give me some United, man. Where's Manchester United? Come <laughs> on, that's a sucky one. Kagimush, I think, Kagimush is okay. Is not good. Mostly he's a tuner. Uh, Kazaro. More of that guy, more of him. Kageki. Kageki. Uh, some more of the We're extenders would have been cool. Let's see what we can put together, though. Uh, Nisashi sucks. This one yes, sucks. This one, yeah, yes, these all does. suck. All right. Number nine. Give me something good. To, oh, it's an ultra. Not from the pack. Okay, Gemba, Daredevil, Le Ebonsteed, and Shinai. Okay, so Shinai Mizuho should be complete. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> No, Doc is in shambles! Oh, we got the Kukaracha. There's no way. There is no way! All right, finish this up with uh, United and the Kizan and a, uh, a smoke signal, and I'll be very happy. Squire. Dojo. Very cool. And... What's that one? A spell trap or monster effect that destroys a card. Uh, it's good against Raigeki or Lightning Storm. Let's go have a read at these cards and see how we can make a competent Kokaracha strategy today. Yeah, th I think oh he's fucked gosh, anyway. Oh my gosh, we have a guaranteed ultra rare because we did. Oh my god, we're gonna win. Didn't pull 10 0. 20 0. It's guaranteed, it's guaranteed, it's guaranteed, it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed, it's guaranteed, really it's guaranteed, it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed, it's guaranteed. We really need supers. We don't actually need URs, we need supers. Yeah, so it's that's fine. true. That's also true. Extra you know what, actually? Blue layer. We don't need white it. White layer. White layer. White white, we already white, have a place white, in the white, first white, pack. White, 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 white. Amazing. We also could maybe just build full that wasn't power me. That spiral was if our pulls are good enough. Remember, amazing. That is dumb. We also yeah, could maybe checking. just build full power spiral if our pulls are good enough. Remember, we do have those cards from earlier. No copies of Super Agent, so that'd be like a really big pickup. Back three. Dino Mist. Blue layer. Blue layer. Oh, this card's semi limited in this game, right? We don't. Need if it's this. not, that's crazy. I think it is semi limited. It's at three. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. This is insane. This is like. Oh my Alphan. gosh, the third L fan. Yes! Okay, we just What is Crush Cards doing this episode? They are rare extra extra They're on they're on something else. We need the white layer rank seven. They're going we off. need the red layer rank five. Those are very important cards. Oh good, another green. We only green. Really need to pull one of those two cards because I think we, we actually that's our this second like field. Ridiculous episode. Um, Come on. Okay, not really red and green. red and white. Red and white. Come on, red and white. Red it's and white. Fine. It's red fine. White. We still got plenty of packs. We still got the five extra packs. Super upgrade. Maybe this is <laughs> Not a lot of hollows. Not a lot of hollows. It's okay. Honestly, the fact that we have multiple white layers. Oh, great. And okay, that's our third of the field spell. Like huge. That makes the deck so much more consistent. You can craft white layer. Oh no, I want to craft because the you fucking can go, like Magnus, I did in Magnus, Magnus King episode. of the Computer. You can go white layer plus any extender, and then without using your normal summon, you can search the uh, fairy to special. Okay, another dog pack. All right, what are our guarantees? Okay. <gasps> Guaranteed, that's, you are that's red a layer. Red layer. <laughs> Oh one. my god. That's a gosh. really nice one. We have a playset of all of them now. Five pack. We don't have a playset of red. We only have one, two. But actually, it's really, really funny, personally, to see Doug uh, get one UR in 20 packs. Like, he actually rolled the minimum. Show me an extra deck monster. No. Extra deck monster. Maybe. Fuck. Should have been more specific. I mean, that's an extra deck monster. Okay, exceeds Red or white. super rare. Red or white. 13. I believe in this pack. I'll open this one. Okay, please. <laughs> Could be. Oh my gosh, Trap Trick, Trap Will Nightmare. Great pick Come up. On. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's fine. Back four. Here we go. You are. Holy shit. We don't actually need a UR. We need supers, but... We need one UR. 
We'll take it. I'll take a third red layer. Just give it to me. <gasps> well, that maybe changes some stuff. It's good. We don't have like. Yeah, you would need you would need a constructed cards. deck. It's it's really not. At, it looks crazy. I know. Really yeah, no, he's right. Good, he's we right. don't have super agent. Sadly, he's cool. spitting. Cool. Maybe when we unlock the spiral pack for the third <sighs> time, we can go into that. Come on. Final pack, please show us either one of those beautiful. Gonna be pre -pack. Beautiful super rare Xyz monsters. Looks like the hollow is nodding from the pack. Yeah. <laughs> Eva. <laughs> Fuck this card. I do not miss it. Crazy 15 packs. Looks like we're only going to have either the rank 7 or the rank 5. I'm going to have to make a choice. With it's going to be white layer, right? That, but uh, pretty good opening. Excited to see what our deck is going to look like this episode. New deck profiles card. YouTube, welcome back to perhaps the first defeat in multiple episodes for me. Not looking Why? too good. But we'll give it a shot. I believe with Why enough staples that? and drop cards, Yen can come out victorious. Oh! Looks good, buddy. No notes. Okay. Um. Oh, just a lot going on here. Um, Toon Warrior. Gotta play 41. Need room for Toon Warrior. Oh, geez. This is a bleak one. I mean, we have the infinite, but... Ugh. Yes, there's not enough staples in here, to be honest, to really say that this is worth playing. All right. It's six Samurais. Uh, Battle Shogun Turbo. We've got, gate like, with 25 Sex, cards of a really and, uh, crazy Special list. Summon Shokan and uh, Shien Pass. That's the name of the game. That's what we're trying to pull off. We'll see how it goes. My craft this week was Battle Shogun Shien. Surely there's no way that this can go wrong. All I need to do is draw my Kukaracha... And we'll be gaming. Yeah, I don't really have anything to Another say Another banger. There's a bunch of warriors. I'm that they are firing on all cylinders uh, tonight. And hopefully, Prage, uh, Inshallah, and then you set Canadia and trap cards. Uh, wow, 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 yes, wow. I know, I know. It's terrible. It's horrible. Wow, but I just, wow, I genuinely wow. All right, let's get into do and see do da, how badly da. this goes. Okay, we are back with Super Quants, but this time I think our deck is ridiculously right, let's, strong. Let's take I think a look this is like more. Dog, 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 dog. Oh, this is nice. I gotta tell you, this More is a nice as looking deck. As the oh, head judging is probably the only bad card in here previous week's deck because we have more than doubled the amount of starters we have more copies of blue and the alpha and whoa 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 two huge mistakes here did we craft red layer Mm, white layer so good did we already have magnus white layer and stuff like that but also we now have a copy of the red extra deck monster which not only means we can set up an extra interruption on turn one a very powerful interruption that pops a monster but also it means we can finally go into great magnus if we really want to red can this be blip, 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 blip. i don't care very powerful i don't care going first and while it does have the white one's actually good second, i think it's incredibly grindy and we have all these trap cards yeah, and these going yeah. second cards like mst and evenly and lightning storm that hopefully if we go second so now if we draw alpha and it's win. a turn one magnus That's right so. Bro, i oh, swear to god i, I opened the brick okay, we did. and i always break i like to hear we can do that we don't, it's fine we got, time. we got time we got time sure. we got time 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 Oh, super, you're back on Super Quantum? Quantum Blue Layer. I am back on this for part of the deck. You never we really get Alphan mix here. it up, Doug. Alphan. <laughs> Alphan. I played a different deck like every week, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And then... Oh boy, not Grandpa's Pass. Not quite Grandpa's Pass. Oh, okay. We're That's going off. So I use this. Sending this. I feel like I still don't know what your cards do, but... I, I think I this it. episode we might actually figure it out. I think we might. This might be the episode. What are we dumping with white? So we're gonna so send mill? a non-light super quant from hand or face or field and special this, and then send a super quant from deck, and if you do that, the actual level becomes the same. Yeah. Bring so back the blue. Super quant fairy alpha. Nice. <laughs> now what? <laughs> oh, he's uh, doing it. Just, Things are happening. I'm just setting up for next. It's fine. It's fine. This wasn't better than search alpha. I will set two and go ahead. Okay, actually, maybe it is better than Alphan, and I'll tell you why. 
Um, is that white layer? Is that white layer an ignition effect? That was wrong. Yes. Okay. So we will simply be able to activate it again. Okay. It's a super quantum opening for the. Oh. Uh. Interesting. What am I doing, man? What am I doing? <laughs> Thinking about that alternate timeline where you took the extra hour, huh? Yeah, what what could have happened? Okay, let's see. All right, whatever the case is, we are definitely starting with this one. So uh, let's let's just get that out of I'm the way. Actually we, are, we are going to do a little this deck uh, sucks reveal balls. here. It is Kaneki, <gasps> Legendary Six Samurai. What? <laughs> are you scared, Doug? <laughs> Um, oh, I don't know if that's what I would say, but okay, I see why you wanted to go first. That does. And we make have to sense. go Mizuho yeah, here, so right? I think I'm gonna go for Kizaru. Oh, we're not even. Actually, we're not even making him. To... See what Kizaru does, Doug? No. Okay, so it add some different, different attributes. Attribute. I see. So we um, grab another yep, Kizaru. One you might ask. Ah, just you wait and see. We have the yeah, infinite. Ah, the loops, baby. Shinai and Mizuho. Oh shit. Okay. Wait, we actually just straight up have the infinite, huh? Hey, yep. You're making plays. <laughs> yep, indeed, baby. <laughs> uh, plays, he says. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Don't even think it's uh, worth going into my craft this week. Oh, my, my craft. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Make it. Go get Gateway Pass. Was Battle Shogun Shien? No, it was. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Man. Like so, here's the problem. My pull list was like regular Shien at least. Uh, Hopefully you at least pulled yes. one. Hopefully you at least pulled. Yes, one. I do. It was. Okay. Um, okay, okay. Listen, uh, we win these. We got this. We, we got. But then this. Doug goes uh, spell destruction and on. kills him. We have no, Canadia. No, 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 no. Trust me, trust me. You just, you just, just wait and see. Just wait and see. Infinite loop for face, what? Huh? Yeah, I mean, I yeah. Can't no. Go. no, I need that. Dad. <laughs> okay, we These lose. These are the now. best cards of my deck, Doug. The purple ones. Oh man, hey, at least you what? get a free. Yeah, this was actually summon, never happening. <laughs> of the paleo. Oh, no, we don't need this, right? Yeah, we're not gonna die. You, you didn't you activate. Know. You're literally dead, dude. Are you sure you don't want the extra? How am I dead? You dead? Doug, what does this I do? played against How this silly deck three on, weeks in a row. You have like, never once done more than like seven damage in a turn. That's true. That's true. That is true. That is true. I will. I will give you that. I will give you that. I, will give right. you that. I guess not. You have not learned it. You have not learned the the secret of the episode yet. You have not oh boy, the secret. The secret. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I guess I just oh. summon that. That seems. Oh, that's actually really funny that I could do this one though. These two. I summon. Oh my god. Hard summon Magna Liger, huh? Okay. You don't even realize. I don't. I didn't have this card. I didn't have this card. Was this your craft this week? Yeah, I, w I unlocked this pack again. <laughs> again? Jesus. Yeah. So you were like, oh, why didn't you switch up? It's the same reason you went back to the Ritual Beast deck. When you unlock it again, it's like, it's pretty hard to Kay. pass up. It's like, That's it's fair. so good. That's fair. Like, Grab Alpha fine. here. Let's pop that one. What do you uh, have in hand? I mean... Oh, you can do this to block it. Yeah, sure. Save 200 damage. You did it. <laughs> I... Honestly, if, if you overkill by 200, I'll take the L. Grab Alpha. <laughs> yeah. No, I think you got to try I'll to save it for like right, we anything better, right? Yeah, this is over. Yeah. Like, I think I'm going to need it next turn, weirdly enough, versus yeah. your... Why next did you game. detach your thing? To search I this? <laughs> it's been four weeks with this deck. <laughs> to search this one. Fair enough. Yeah. Why did you detach? You'll see, you'll That's see. the combo. We'll white, red. It, I, I, these two are legitimately playing this match like it's a fucking anime duel. W but why would you willingly make your your card less powerful? I also now have a second copy of Red Layer. So yeah, I, I made some. Yeah, this is over. It's kind of a shitty hit though. Oh whoa, that's the best. Oh, one. We sent blue. Yeah, so we'll go. That's interesting. Um, we go grab blue good. here. Back to so we haven't normaled. We can go. Ugh, back. it's a little crusty. We'll add back the white. Yeah, we grab we'll back, back to white. Um, I'll put back white. Send. Uh, Is there yes, any the way to get the uh, the field into rotation? Samurai. There is a <laughs> yeah, normal you know, blue, but then we don't have three this, uh, colors. Super quant matchup. Yeah, I don't think we're making king of the computer. It's I think really we're just killing. Snore. Yeah. 
You know what the problem is, Doug? I should have played Anishi. That's what I'm learning right now. You had no chance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Anishi. That's now that's a card right there. That's the, that's the deal breaker. Oh, we already oh, normal Alpha. Yeah, that's a good layer. point. Send, Send this. Ending red, huh? Summon. Okay, things are being cooked um, right here. Yeah, I don't think I actually have lethal. I think I'm not doing this. Well See, to I told you. <laughs> Let him cook. You're fine. You're fine. You're alive. You're alive. I don't think I was supposed to do that last one there. I was seeing this was coming out in attack mode. And the red layer. What did the red layer summon? Wait, what did the... I could always rely on my deck being bad, but I could also rely on taxes, death, and Doug, Doug not reading cards. A card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you guys Stop saying plus one, guys. It's okay. Yeah, everyone doesn't understand how Stop the, saying plus one. one. Why? I, I am owed that, that I sub. Had, I started the turn with white. Did you layer? add the white from your grave to your hand with it or something? Oh, I did. No, I summoned this blue layer, yeah. Oh, shit. That's okay. just on the It's board. okay. We're winning. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm going to pretend okay, I know what you're doing. Not to lethal, not lethal, not lethal. You have, a, you have an emo yeah, for it now? Learning. No! Why well, couldn't, but I must Fools have started doubted it. me. Set. Set. And... I think we're cool. 100 attacks seems pretty bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this. I'll do this. Oh boy, too. Yeah. Not that, like... I mean, you're just probably riding over anyway. So. He's not a quick sense. effect, right? Because you don't have red Yeah, under not it. a quick effect. Not a quick effect. How is it not a quick effect? We never had red under there. Ooh. Ooh. It was sent to yeah, it was white, white and the uh, artifact. Oh! Oh, there was just no super quantum in the graveyard to, to summon. It all makes sense now. Okay, there just wasn't a target. Got it. Got it. Well, I thankfully, Farfa's deck I fucking I sucks balls. Okay, got it. Let's begin with normal summon, legendary six samurai Shida. Now, if I know a thing or two about the the red, blue <laughs> combo, Canadian win here. Red and blue require each other to be faced upon the field, so I'm gonna use oh, my paleo. Yo, is that Pokemon? Canadian. Look, he's gonna summon Canadian and Would turn you like off to his own. Chain skin. your I Canadian. I will probably need my yes. own Canadian. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, now that you yeah. mention it, though, I probably should bring back my monster. <laughs> Seems like a good idea. But what if wow. this triggers my trap card? Look at you knowing card. how six samurai loops work. Pineapple black. Oh, yeah. That's fine. We're going to go into... Oh! Spider-Man. We, oh. have, we have unlocked the zone. Yeah. <laughs> I was legitimately... Do you see what I'm cooking here, Doug? <laughs> I should have let him cook. I should have let him cook. I activate the I should have let him cook. Effect. I should have right. let him oh, cook. Are you feeling lucky? <laughs> oh my god. No, Judge. Please oh don't Here we go. me for stacking your deck, um, dog. I don't think I want to use mine right now. You're just going to run it over. What did I pick next time? I picked Tails. Wait, do you? are you the one who picked? No, it's no, me. No, you pick. You pick. It was asking me okay. if I want to use uh, my Canadian grade. So last time I picked Tails, so statistically, if I pick Tails again, there's a 25% <laughs> chance that it won't be Tails. I think that's how that works. Let's go. Oh, I'm a genetic freak, baby. It's not gonna work. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm being Man. sacked. I'm being sacked. <laughs> Head judging has not missed for either one of us this entire series, right? Like both of us yeah, have always. Well, hit. It's okay. We're never activating. Well, Doug, you want to bring up effect. your Thunderbird? We're just gonna switch our guy to attack <laughs> position and go. No, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> or we're, you know what? Actually, I changed my mind. Um, Actually, okay, I changed so, my yeah, mind. I'll detach this. I'll target this face down blue. Why does that target face down? I, a, I don't know. I don't know. I, I legitimately don't. It's too popular. Hmm. Hey, judging is just solemn but good. Shut the fuck up. Back. Can this a uh, spider attack? Um, yeah. It can do. It can special summon a normal monster to wear it. Well, I guess it can't do that. Vanilla. Actually. Oh yeah, <laughs> true. It could try. Point it. It could just, wrong just go to combat, dude. Um, this okay. is. Why would you just go. steal it into the friend? Easy. This is lethal. Yeah, it's Wait, you're at 42? I should just attack. <laughs> Please just um, kill him. You should material. just attack, Doug. You should indeed just Wait, hold on. Let me think. Let me think now. You have not <laughs> okay. pulled... Oh, let you have cook. jelly cannon. You have... Okay, I'll stack. I'll stack. I'll stack. Let, let him cook. Let him cook. It's over. I mean, you have jelly cannon in there, I guess. But I don't think you've pulled any mere forces. No mere force activations in Season 3 so far. Ah, scapegoat! 
My goat tokens. Oh, well, he's ready, honey. Uh, so <laughs> no Clifford scout activations for you. Yeah, I know. What is up with Farfa? He is drowning. Would be just, interesting. It would be weird. Interesting. That's what you'd call that. <laughs> that's, that's that's a word. I call that be. disastrous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're but uh, yeah. This is uh, we're doing it the oh. hard way. Hang on, what is he cooking here? I summon Alistair, Alistair the invoker. We have of to madness. bring him out here. I is this just to trigger your silly token. Yeah. White lady. silly. Yes. White. white. Okay. And then I normal summon. What can you do with scapegoat oh. tokens without Link Spider though? Isn't Nothing. That, like, kind of an important bridge or no? What can I do with? I guess you should just leave him alone then. Don't worry about it. Yeah, um. I guess you should just uh, not concern yourself. I don't know if I can actually. Stuff. I don't think I can kill any of those. I mean, I attacked over one. I've already used the popping effect this turn. I think these are fine. So you just get to keep them. You know, congratulations. Yay. Okay. That's... You're so generous, Doc. We have not pulled green <laughs> once. Let my Thank friend God. Farfa keep his nice scapegoat tokens. <laughs> um, Summon back, back blue. Let's uh, get yeah, let's the let's fucking add field add spell going, huh? I think I'm just going to take it slow and just add. Add this back for next turn. Ooh. My back's against the wall. Come on. Yeah, that's okay. I have a that's okay. very, okay. very... Okay. Now, you now this is actually a good card. Against the wall in your deck. <laughs> Doug, you gotta make, you gotta make <laughs> Magnus Magnus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. He's got the quick play. We're, we're, I mean, we're quick, quick play in here. The okay. quick play. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. 800 life points. Three scapegoats. All right. This does not do anything. Four cards in hand. Mm -hmm. That seems kind of crazy. Let's normal summon Toon Warrior. <laughs> yep. Oh, Do you like me to tune okay. something? So you can go into. What six? if we just blow up the Toon Warrior? We uh, win here, sure. right? Oh, he's okaying it. All right. Pause well, what are you going to make with six? I don't Let know. Let him cook. What do you Brianic? mean, dog? What am I going to make with six? All right, so uh, we're going to have to start what, off with... What, the six Sam guy? You're not going to make right him with here. six. Um, We're going to go into Nightmare Cerberus. Kelly. Kelly. Oh. Uh, let's discard. Um, yeah, sorry. She and Squire didn't quite make it this week. I just realized with Drawing my guard it's kind of annoying because I don't actually know if it negates or not until... <laughs> Yeah, head judging is a, a oh, piece of shit here. sucks. Wait, this is terrible. Um, Negate that effects activation? Well, no, what I'm saying uh, is that... So if I chain the head judging now, um, I won't know if, if like you win the coin toss or not. So I don't know if I should chain the Magna the to pop the Cerberus. Hmm. Um, so if I chain this right now... Which yeah, I think right? I Am I to, wrong? Um, what if you just win this? I'm going to pop if you just the Cerberus win the here because toss. if I lose the head judging thing, I don't want you to have a Link 2 on the board. It's kind of like a weird spot. So I'm just going to pop this. Coward. Thing. That is so sad. <laughs> I needed that material. <laughs> Those were my so only strange. materials. So <laughs> strange. Uh, oh, my god! Uh, special. Oh, I don't special. know what my other play was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Either. To be fair. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, boy. Landfall. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, Can we end in a hollow? Can we have an escape? Uh, ah, their brains are just fried. I love it. 800 attack yeah, yeah. monster, Doug. Don't do that. Oh, okay. Uh, oh okay. my Game's gosh. Over. I, I don't have a non. I have to. This no way to get out of the zero attack monster. Doug, you should play to constructed fair, super. I feel like, it's actually uh, a really I powerful and rewarding deck. Okay, and challenging. It's a lot of fun. Here. Yeah, no. One of the most fun. Yeah, yeah. Head judging was at the super quantums that I've been putting in the work. Today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, uh, it's legitimately powerful. Effects, like, okay, right, okay, there we go. No, not like this. <laughs> oh, I missed all the effects. <laughs> I did win Brilliant right, was a do. three, just not with any of the newer support. Yeah, try it out Your again. Six Samurai okay. Super Quant with, uh, um, with Brilliant was... With. It like was just that. another Brilliant They're deck. telling me that I didn't even do any damage. Super well, Quant Monarch was up. just That's blue. That's not your concern. Just e -tally oh broken. Uh, this is a hand here. Okay. It's some, it's uh, legal in the current Master Duel event. Okay, 10, 10. We have one job here. That that's a good reason. Okay. We have we have to make some good plays. We're here bringing the cat in. Thoughts on this? <laughs> thoughts on this one. How do we address this? Uh, he doesn't know. He's closed. To... Well, this is definitely happening. My wombo combo, kind of. Yeah. Uh, Kageki. Kageki. Effect. It's a pretty good okay, deck. This event too. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. I chain Kagimucha Knight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Sure. Warrior Extender, Doug. Yeah. How do you feel well, now? Um, do you feel silly? Am I about to get MX Saber Invoker here? 
Uh, you are definitely mm. going to get a play. You... Okay. I can't see the line. Have I been blinded? The line is outside of my control. I, I can't grasp it. Okay. Okay. You will, you will be receiving a play this turn. Okay. He's he's actually operating on a plane, to which I am unfamiliar. Okay, we got some level. <laughs> I apologize. I am unfamiliar with your game. Is this Tri Edge Levia right here? That'd be pretty strong. Listen, buddy. <laughs> Listen to me, Doug. Yeah. <laughs> you need to understand okay. that if I don't go into Shogun, <laughs> it's actually the better play. I apologize for nothing. I was completely familiar with your game. <laughs> because this allows me to boost all monsters by 300. Now, the reason we don't go into Battle Shogun is because I don't... No, no, no. I want to hear. What is the reason we don't go into Battle Shogun? Let's let's hear it. I don't have any follow up? I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> you do have follow up. It's in your hand. I have no way to trigger my portal, man. I thought pulling Gateway was a free win. It's not. Portal doesn't do anything if you have no extenders. I pulled oh, zero keys. You, like, you have like Gateway and Shien and. Hand is fucking dog shit, but it has an alpha hand, so we win. The link with the craft, but no, <laughs> nothing to go with. Nothing to really Holy make shit. Here, no. Okay. No, I... Well, All right, this is a beat stick meta, Doug. Will yeah, will we get to see Magnus? Magnus. I cannot believe. So, my deck can pop off. Okay, I I honestly do mean that. If you draw any two, any two, pretty much super quantum monsters, Come which on. I have not drawn. I, I have a set of all of them pretty much now, and I just. It's fine. It's fine. Th this is actually super. Have you just not drawn another quantum? Yeah. Yeah. Because last game I just drew only blue. Poggers. Come on. Okay, blue, 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 blue. Decent hit. Right. Doug, I would like to apologize. I did not realize how much better this deck got when you did not have to click green ever. Oh, that's not good. That's the best one. Yes. That's He's the only best hitting red, yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh. Uh, so red hit this. Let's, uh, and then this to add. Well, my red warrior is the coolest warrior. Oh my god. Wait, we actually have it, right? Oh, this, red, is, this is red Magnus red Magnus. Red warrior here, you're right. Yep. Um, yours even has almost 2,000 attack at this point, which is pretty incredible. No, we're one guy off. Okay. Uh, we're one guy off, and we would have to have... We would have to have white layer. Yeah, 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 I'm way off. It's a red one. I mean, here's the thing, man. In my defense, if you throw enough crap at the wall, sometimes something sticks, you know? Like, who would have thought Gusto would have won? Who would have thought Toon I mean, this is won? good enough. Just yeah. like... I'm just trying to think um, if... A, white layer pass. <laughs> Oh, I, you have two cards in hand, and I'm looking at my hand. I'm like, okay, okay, there's some, there's some cards here. But I don't there know is a Magnus line here. Hand. All right. From this position? I have a vanilla. <laughs> this is <isn't> fair. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is like when you, like, make a new Macedal account. And you... Um, Does red trigger if it's sent to the graveyard off of an Xyz? Because if so, it's really easy, right? You just go... Um, uh, uh, field spell, discard for red, send red for white, white reborn blue, discard, discard, field spell, right? Does, does that do it? You build like a, yeah. like a, like a meta deck, like just with Correct. immediately with the Sick. gems you have just to I like start on a fresh it's account so or something. Fucking and then you have to start in like bronze and rookie. And I have to say, I no, have to... that doesn't do it. That doesn't do it because we don't have white layer. No, that doesn't do it at all. Oh, we red said green. Witness, you decimate me right now while I'm looking at a Chun Warrior Cyber Structure Deck monster in my hand. Like, yep, this this makes Shogun pass. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're doing now anyway. Um, okay, so I'm gonna... <sighs> it's okay, we win this warrior. anyway. The deck's Apparently, crazy. Apparently, I should have just went into Charge Warrior. Yeah. Um, I fit this. Uh, oh, God, this. I hope we see Magnus this game. Discard. There's definitely no way you can out Giga Brilliant, right? Wait, I actually don't... <laughs> 
No, I get, I get. Yeah, I get, I get. You could be looking at gateway. I don't think I can. I I can't out the. Um, I guess I could have left this in attack mode. I really don't want to though. But I'm gonna do. Yeah, like I could have booked it. Field spells nuts. Uh, field spell converts uh, all you your on field like, guys. Does your deck do that? Lose scythe. Come on. Do I have Magnus? Uh, no. Why? Do you own the card? I don't know. Maybe. What do you like to know? <laughs> Doug, I'm just gonna watch the video next episode. Oh right. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> Who needs? I forget that? this is a roulette <laughs> like, where uh, where we actually oh, uh, do keep the cards after an episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah we exactly. should have left him in attack. We uh, got them both. Bad. Oh no, he outed Giga Brilliant! The hell with it! Alright, we win anyway. Not like this. <laughs> Just okay, set everything. Well, um, I'll set this. On the pull side, it isn't a quick effect. God. And I'll set oh my god. It would have been cool if we had seen Magnus. Cards, that would have been relax. pretty neat. Could have had Megazord. I, honestly, yeah. I don't see how I was getting the, the red and the green on the board at the same time. I'm sure that it was there. Um, sorry five super quantum players out there. It's just cursed so eyes. Really, uh, you can just direct here, it directly okay. to cursed um, eyes. Here is, I think they're the only ones still playing the deck. So we need to like, hmm. yeah. This is this has been the best card in my deck this this week. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's Toon Warrior. <laughs> pop Scythe here. How, are you feeling lucky, Doug? <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna Scythe me? No way. Wait. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare Scythe a Toon Warrior. Doug, you will never live this down. Okay, I'll respect moral type more. Why didn't you summon Scythe? That would have been infinitely funnier. Oh, okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, that is a shame. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> wait, what are you doing? Are you triggering your own monster? <laughs> no. Ah, he has the Scythe lock six samurai structure deck. Oh my God. <laughs> you this didn't was a close want one. The extra this was a close <laughs> episode. You yeah, said the know, problem is that Farfa's deck fun. was just a little too good. <laughs> Let well, the records show that Farfa asked for an extra hour to deck build, and I said it was okay, and then he said, no, it's fine. It's fine. Your deck's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, mistakes were made this week. But I made some mistakes this week. <laughs> okay, wait. This is also Magnus. This is also Magnus Magnus, king of the computer. Can I even win right here? Doug! You're at 79. I can't even attack Aha, for the doesn't have game. Doug, please. Yeah, like I literally can't even attack right here. This is so sad. Oh, I could do that. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> it's it's Probably legitimately no even correct to do. I'll make this one. I do have two level fives. Oh, oh my god, man. is it fine? <laughs> yeah. ah, no smack. Why do you more time? King so, of the uh, what you might not know is that I, <laughs> I summon super. That's a five man. A six man. Wait, the effect? This uh, card literally can't be destroyed. Right. It's it's fucking floodgate it's the quick master. Spin, I think. Just go combat. So the, just go. Oh, no one. no need. The very Sit on Colossus. Episode. What unlocked this pack was oh this. God. Was this the king? All right, I just, so that like, ignition wow. is giga yeah, dead, by the never, way. We have no more artifacts in there. I didn't have a third deck. extra deck monster, so I couldn't use it this whole time. Magnus, Magnus. So, well, uh, two more Pretty turns crazy. of uh, detaching materials and... Uh, <laughs> Double... You know, oh, I mean, you can out it. Just, just uh, I don't know, what did they do in the Power Rangers show? Like, you just got to summon your <clears throat> own huge monster. So here's what we do, by the way. We wait for main two. We fire the effect to shuffle. We shuffle a guy. We detach white. We white for Alphan, and that's it next turn. You just we don't have, have to, to wait for two turns. <laughs> oh, no! This is just Doug's, <laughs> Doug's computer really going off here. Oh my Double God. Edge sword <laughs> technique. That's crazy. I like oh, how you didn't wait till the end phase. I don't, I don't need the right, uh, waste material. Yeah, All right, or we could fucking nine. draw a blue layer. It doesn't matter. Just, I'll just None try to. I'll, I'll try to clean up. I'll try to clean up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to waste. Don't want to waste anyone's time today. Detach. Shuffle back. Is that hey, even a uh, Get him out of here. Your monster is now. God, I, I, I love I, I Magnus. Can, I can use Magnus. Honest, uh, the thing about Magnus Magnus that many people don't understand is that he actually is the king of the computer. Right. Do we have three? We have to have three. Don't think. That'll that'll show me. That'll show me. <laughs> How much damage do you need? Twenty three. Yeah, it is twenty three. Really so cool. I think like, literally any of them except it. for green. Try to like speed run it. Try... Of course, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we of course we fucking oh, rolled green here. Okay. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, this is uh fifty two. I guess in the future, <laughs> we'll know. Yeah. Green still does it. was not the play. Weird. 
You know, I went into that pack, I think season one. Oh, because and, Red uh, went to Grave. You're right. Dog shit. I thought that, that three of could have possibly lost. To pull from, and it is just not a lot of the time. I don't know. I mean, I think you just need like multiple. Wait, is it lethal with blue? And, even uh, you're right. <laughs> we didn't it's even a, need that. Nice. Super it. or rare? Did they go? Yeah. Like Get it, get it, get well, him out of here. Game, get him out of here. Uh, Magnus, unfortunately for Magnus, us, uh, we may computer. have done a little bit of a miscalculation with the power of our deck this week. <laughs> I think you were pretty accurate. Didn't you say it was like I Honestly, <laughs> I know that people are mad that My Doug defense, is just Doug, running the same deck back. Very low. I want to see I know, him play I, this deck for 100 dude, years. I was cooking this deck all 200 weekend. years of Magnus, strong, Magnus. But I know I've said that a few times. Oh, well, oh, well. Okay, here we are with our deck of many things. All right, let's, let's, we'll let's, let's conference with Jesus real quick. Prohibition, a one that we've seen in the past oh, before. In the next episode boo. only, neither player is allowed to use Great news any for cards they used in today's episode. Well, Farfa, I Perfect. think you made the right choice to today. <laughs> That's not oh a challenge. Oh my god. It's a buff. What the heck? My Farfa god. lost. He says. Oh man. Oh my god. See you guys next to be fair, week. There's a lot of staples. It's important to remember the life is full of wins and losses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's going to be a tough God. week for you next Thanks. week. I used uh, every good card in my collection, but uh, yeah, you'll have a tough week. <laughs> uh, oh, GG's. No. Oh, See you guys next Wednesday. <laughs> Dog, I don't get to use my XE. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. We better have a bonus clip. Crush cards didn't even have to do JJ this I week. I need everyone yes. to collectively lie to Fart. Just throw out your own leaks. Don't be too obvious to, you know, and as your reward for doing this for me, I will reveal this pack. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got from the memes. Just watched the episode. Did not have time to make above par memes, but the whole episode is this. <laughs> Most viewers find it insane, nightmarish, or just strange. Okay, sure, yeah. If Farfa should have played Dark World, it would have been funny, I think. Uh, what you got there? The gateway. Very late jank meme. Hello, Maui from Maui. Hello, Fluttershy Tulpa Guardian from Chronomaly. <laughs> This one is incomprehensible, even if you have watched the Jank episode. Maxi joining Master Saga. Anyone know what pride flag this is? Coming. No one deserved to win, but as the saying goes, we take those. I'm going to shit. I did. Big guy. Are you... Really funny high effort meme that I definitely didn't hurriedly make while sitting in my car after a job interview. Also, I got the job. Congrats! What are you gonna do, big guy? Are you gonna Don't scythe me? me? Don't tempt me. <laughs> yeah. Ah! It Mighty is Morgan time. Dive. You're bluffing. You're bluffing. Chad didn't teach you. Quantums. Nope. I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do, big guy? <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> Chat really didn't teach him quantums, though. That's great. Prep, good pack. Okay, reflection. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, we unlocked the, the super quantum pack! The spiral pack! Oh my gosh. I have been gifted. More quantum power. Foolishness. Farfa. acceleration. <laughs> I'm not just any ranger. Not by a long shot. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty good. Te quiero mucho, Dezif. I bet those legs are fragile. Okay. Time for another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. I am not prepared, but I will do it. My child will dug sweep. Blessings on my child, Farfa. <laughs> Pogchamp for G's, very true. Redox pass, Giga Brilliant pass, they're the same picture. When the... This meme hasn't been funny for years. I don't know why I keep doing this. MBT every Wednesday, free subs from Saga. <laughs> very true, very true. Good ones this week, folks. Hmm.
we should not have let Farfa cook. I will say right now. Farfa did not need to cook there. All right, let's get a Twitter thread going. What uh what Twitter thread do you want to do? Did Rebecca send me any? What cards have a gorilla grip pussy? Uh, hmm. <laughs> what cards would post whole? What the fuck does that mean? Hmm. Also, Magnus. Uh, yeah, we can do the OCG. Nah, that, that one's pretty boring, actually. Cards that are winning the twerk off. Do the first Twitter thread again and see if anyone notices. Uh, cards who fuck the most. <clears throat> what is the best Twitter thread? Weird shit in Yu-Gi-Oh! video games. That was wrong. Oh, I... I actually... I, I, I can think of one. I can think of one. Twitter thread. As we all know... There are good decks, and there are bad decks. But sometimes, a deck is good or bad for reasons completely out of its control. <clears throat> for instance, Chronomaly. <laughs> I just searched Nebra Disc, and of course I got the Nebra Disc. For instance, uh, Chronomaly was poised to be a TCG threat, but never got, but got a critical piece of support imported late what other decks should have been good and why weren't they there you go yeah this is i want the ddd one i want the heraldic beast you know what i'm looking for chat <clears throat> Why do I enable this man? Danny and Joseph are the worst. <laughs> they are the modern day Lovecraft and Howard because they're both gay and racist. Shut up. God, you are so annoying. He gets online to talk shit on me while I am on stream. Let's open up some Master Duel. More like Aster Duel. Is that doing anything for you? I'm normal. Hey, what is your what is your Twitter handle mean, Rebecca? <clears throat> All right. <laughs> There's really no reason to play this new event, but 
Uh, you know what, actually? Sometimes playing the event is its own reward. And uh, sometimes <laughs> getting content for YouTube is, uh, is another thing that counts as a reward. Theme Chronicle! Held! Yeah. I should hope so. Alright, so if you were around for yesterday's stream, we tried out Monarch. Basically came to the consensus that uh, uh, this deck fucking sucks. We'll do one or two with this. We'll do one or two with this. And then we're going to move to Plunder. Did you see the results of the Master Duel Meta Theme Chronicle Tournament? Didn't Math Mech win? Well, this is the best hand I've ever drawn in this deck. This guy's name is Ban Maxi. Big fan, big fan. Why not play Vendred with the new support? <laughs> Why not indeed? Uh, decent open. Decent open for sure. Uh, we go Pantheism here for Tenacity. One of the reasons I don't take Master Duel meta seriously is because that Math Mech win from the Theme Chronicle tournament counted towards the deck's general power. Isn't that ridiculous? It's a different format. It's a different format, you simple bitch. Uh, I guess we're getting Domain, right? We should have desires first. Or maybe we shouldn't have. That didn't change jack shit. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Do we still have the trap in here? We do. Got him. Hmm? Perhaps they will not understand it. They will simply play as if they are domain locked. All right, that's the plan. Okay, well, that wasn't going to work anyway. Um, fuck. Uh, oh boy, that's, that's not good. That's fine. Is Sela Glare still in the deck? Oh, good. Okay, so we can banish Tenacity to summon Aether. Uh-oh. You are dead? Incorrect. I'm very alive. I may I may be dead, yes.
Whoa, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, what are the chances they have something else? See? We're fine. All right, one more, one more. Oh my god, we got 10 million gems for that. I would like to... You know what? I can't be mad about not going first. We literally just went first and displayed that we don't know how to do the combo even in a best of all possible worlds. It's better to go second anyway. That gives us another chance to draw a card. We need the sixth card. And also, we need to be able to shuffle things with... Uh, with Erebos. Oh, this hand would have done it. What did you all bet on? Who started this? <laughs> Go to prison. Me. Oh, thanks, Rin. Okay. getting FTK'd? Is that what's happening? Alright, I'm gonna take a nap. You, you let me know if I have to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Wait, it was Orcus the whole time? Shit, didn't mean to click Eden. Okay, let's see what we start with. Whoa, is that broken? Oh, broken stopwatch. Okay, that's good. I kind of like I li I kind of like spin to win. I know that many people don't like spin to win. I like spin to win. Okay, I no longer like spin to win. Oh my god, what's my damage? Three oh seven. Jesus Christ. Uh Okay, sure. 
Ooh, give me that broken stopwatch, baby. This is like the perfect room for a stopwatch because I would not be getting out of here unscathed without it. Are we dead yet? Have they figured out how to FTK the deck made to FTK? Oh my god. Hold up. Calm down. I'm not very fast. There we go. What do I have here? Curse of the Lost? That sucks. Unfortunate. It's going to take an hour for us to beat these two. But thankfully, we've got time. Anyone read any good books lately? Anyone kill any good monstros lately? Oh, that was stupid. I was just so excited. Uh, we didn't go in the... The devil room? Oh, shit. Wait. There's no way that that's the end board. What the fuck did they spend all turn doing? What? What the fuck did- What did they spend the whole turn doing? Uh, okay. A dia. Oh, if they have Ash, we do still die here. <laughs> Alright, let's switch decks. Uh, okay. What what else is good in this in this format? Quant no, I want I want to play some I want to play some decks from the uh Do you have weather painter built? We do. Uh we just have to take out all the good cards. Hmm, this is a big problem. I really needed those cards. Uh, what are we going to put in here instead? Uh, Piri Res Map. Seems okay. Uh, unless it is banned. Uh, what's the name of this card? Uh... What else? Avramax? Sure. Uh, Torrential? Oh, Torrential's very funny. Doing great today. Been a long day, chat. I will put in a second Thundry. What? Huh? Thundery. Uh, okay, we got one more card in the extra. What are we putting in there? Mascarena, sure. This deck looks unbeatable. No DiFi? No DiFi. Giga Brilliant, yeah. Fuck, we needed to go first. Alright, let's load back up Isaac. They are really thinking about this. So what's the deal with Theme Chronicle? Oh yeah, this is a pretty good time to explain it. So the way Theme Chronicle works is I draw Maxi and Ash Blossom when I'm going second and then I win the game. Uh, you play the decks from solo mode is the concept. Did I hit exit deck in the fucking Monstro room? Oh my god. 
I'm gonna have to do all that again. Hey, what's the solo mode archetype here? Was there a magic -y? What the fuck? Alright. Height on time. Let's bait the ash here. I've learned much from my last endeavor. Well, if they had the ash, they would have ashed the Nibiru. Uh, we are going to put... Rainbowy. Activate Snowy. Extra Normal. Bring out Thundery. Rainbowy. Oh, don't you do shit. Grab Cloudy. Combat. Huh? All right. Uh, I want to get snowy, so I will. We'll get snowy for Thundery, and we'll just bounce him. Should have played the weather, the weather solo mode. You would know what I'm up to. You would know what I'm cooking. What the fuck am I cooking? What on earth am I cooking? You good? No, I think I'm not. It's okay. It's all part of the plan. Why no Lokai bounce? Uh, for a very important and meaningful reason, chat. Uh, what does Aura say? Nothing. Save them all with Cloudy. How could I possibly do that? That was wrong. Cheat. Okay. I will come if you say you have Moonbow. I have Moonbow. We save all but one? No, we save them all. Uh, sorry, buddy. Uh, this Nibiru is going to have to put in a lot of work, and I think it will. All right, dry ass. What if I just ash this? Fuck you. Nice deck, idiot. Uh, okay. That's fine. <clears throat> Ho! 
out to lunch it. Two. Oh shit. Oh, they don't have princess. Oh, get poted on, folks. Tokens can be bounced. That's correct. Wait, they don't have the field spell? What the fuck was that? Oh, uh, I can't beat that card. Uh, um, <laughs> shit. I'm not going to get any of my guys back. Wow. Uh, we can set snow. We don't need to set snow. None of our guys have fucking 1800, do they? Get him out of here. This isn't ideal, but sure. I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to do this. This feels super minus. Well, we're doing what we have to here. Trying to make sure we still have one of each. We do. We do. Okay. Hmm. So we go... this like this cloudy Is that a hard once? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, that was stupid. I was supposed to set him in the snowy zone. Whoops, I still have a normal I'm not going to use. That's okay. This is good enough. Ugh. Tribute summon Nib for sure.
Now we just banish that stupid cactus. I agree. Raigeki 2 coming up. Raigeki 2 does clear me. Raigeki 2 does win the game immediately. Okay, dry ass is fine. Does not do anything. What does the cactus do? It's a vanity's ruler. Rick a glamour. Okay. Now they lightning storm. Hellebore. Wow, they are really in, in deep. They are in too deep and they're trying to creep. Okay. That's fine. They have the third dry ass. Snowdrop plus Who the fuck is that? Cyclamen? Okay, that's fine. Also fine. Oh, do they have their Xyz? That's funny. Rika Queen Strena. That's fine. It does trigger off Nib. Isn't that funny? Don't we just banish and laugh? Uh, no. I I'm gonna let them cook. Okay, that I, I'm done allowing them to cook. Okay. Now we know the entire hand. <clears throat> Don't banish Strena, no! Too bad. Get her out of here. Why don't you use princess to negate? All right, great. Okay, so sadly, I think that this deck is really good. It's just, um, I mean, it's going to take a long time to get all the shit doing this. Not that I really need to get the shit. It's just icons. It's just icons. Is that my beautiful wife who I love very much? Uh, my beautiful wife made me a nice dessert. And she looks very pretty. She doesn't want to come on camera because she's in her PJs, but she looks very pretty. She's She made me some casseroles this week, yeah. She's the casserole wife. She is a casserole in my asserole. Uh, Unasked for? Oh yeah, Jillian, are you are you brawless currently? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> folks. <laughs> uh, let me just get a double kill real quick. No, it's a it's a reference to a funny post.
going fine. If you want more attention. I mean, I can't really say no. Ain't nothing happening on my opponent's side of the field. I am in the middle of carrying a Master Duel about to close it out, and my brawless wife brings me a casserole not asked for with dessert as I get a double draw off of Maxi. So, how's your day going? What the fuck is... What is going on on my opponent's side of the field? Hmm. Shockingly, I think we may still be in this. This is some dessert, I'll tell you what. So, like, it's just big Hyperion pass. Oh, no, they they have zero copies of uh, Negate. What the fuck? I already saw all three. What? what? How did they go back? Oh, my God. I knew this was evil Venus. Sure. Fuck it, what do I care? Why don't you go make another stupid ass monster? They are FDKing themselves. She's in here! Hmm. Why is that? wasn't her tuna to take. You can probably check if you... I don't know why they let me have that. Um, we are now dead. We're dead. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Why is Appalosa legal for this? That was the highest rolling hand I've ever seen. One more with these guys and we're switching it up. Finally. 
This is the first time we've gone first with this deck. How is the event so far? I'll be honest with you. It's not great. Did you feed her the D word? Then why was she being such a trashy little girl? Our, our trashy little girl was just getting into the tuna. She said, mmm, tuna. All right, this is a pretty good start. The Biru Torrential, very funny. This event is not bad. What is everybody talking about? No, I actually do think this event is interesting. I think people just don't like Yu-Gi-Oh. You might be right. This is not a solo mode archetype. What? Branded? Hold up. They are cooking. Hold up. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. You can grab the Dream Mirror Disciple. I should have never doubted them. Holy shit. Uh... Okay. That was wrong. What the fuck is that? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to pour it out here. They can't beat Thundery Pass, we win. I think that's true. Okay, so we go... Activate Torrential. Seal 2 Aurora. Seal three snowy. Okay. And we'll grab thunder here. All right, chat, new emote. It's a follower emote. MBTYGO, all caps, C-O-O-K. Let him cook. Allow him to cook. <clears throat> uh, the MBTYGO is, is not all caps.
Hmm. I think you've cooked enough. Oh, they're thinking here. Unfortunate that I have Omni negates on my side of the field. What stream here is Wincon? Oh, mostly cooking. But it's about to get much worse for you. You see, I will activate the effect of this card. I will grab a snow. I will activate the effect of the weather forecast. Boar cast. Normal summoning my weather painter snow. I activate the effect of my weather painter snow. I'll get rainy canvas. Ooh, I hope those aren't trap cards you have set. That would be quite a shame. But he was cooking. And I intend to bake. Do not allow him to cook. Under no circumstances. Wow, my oral placement is terrible here. I've got to find a better way to say that. Get your pathetic dream mirror off of my field. And now, keep this motherfucker out of the kitchen! Alright, uh, let's check that deck. I'm not gonna lie, they're kinda cooking. They're chefing it just a little bit here. So what's the line? You go Ariana, Neroy, Neroy. This is kind of, it's kind of sick. <laughs> All right, I'm done with this fucking stupid ass deck. What are we making? What else is in what else is in solo mode? Plunder, we'll do a plunder game chat. I know you all want plunder, we'll do one plunder game. The problem is it's too fucking good. Whoa! All right, whatever. <laughs> I 
Uh, we want the light one. And the dark one. And that's it. We really don't give a shit about the rest of them. Wait, is slumber not legal? Oh, come on! Uh... Damn it. The other one we want is fire. We want the water one. Done. Wait, what? Done. I've mastered the seven seas. Draco back? What the fuck? Wait. Huh? Dracoback's legal? Why? It's normal monster support. I guess it is. I know what you're thinking. With all these kaijus, you want to blind second. Wrong. Wrong again, as always. Yeah, I wanted to go second here. Nim Nim is on. Why aren't you dueling right now? Uh. What? Because Nimnim and I, we have some problems. I have some problems with Nimnim. Nimnim said some racist shit to me. He said the plunders weren't tier zero. He said that he wasn't a peggable twink. He's a full-time YouTuber now, so you can officially have beef. Yeah, that's what I heard. So he's finally full-time. Maybe I can get him to fucking record a Magical Hats. We'll see. Mm-hmm. If you insist... Fuck, are we getting FTK'd? Uh, I think I'm going to wait to call by the Grappa. Jesus Christ. Okay. Draw all the cards you want. Okay. Maybe I should have banished the snow. I'm doubling down on my mistake. I let the snow resolve again. Get the third snow. Don't mind if I do. That was wrong. Mm-hmm. More cards, please, sir. That's an important one. Mm. Coder, I don't like this list. No, it looks too playable. It's just not... Not really my style. Looks too competent. Like, I understand why every card in here is in here. Oh, actually, I do... Two maxi. Actually, sorry, I'm back to not getting what you're doing. Had to make room for ship, shape, ship, shipping, did you? Ooh, that one might actually be worth... No, we'll, we'll wait. I feel like it's got to be Graffa. 
I've actually decided that they're not playing Graffa. Son of a bitch. I didn't realize it returned for cost. Maxi never resolves, bro. Explain what I'm currently experiencing. What the fuck? Okay, that's worth ashing. Rare emote, by the way. Jesus Christ. I really should have hit that snow. My God. How do you still have targets for this? Strikes me as impossible. I wonder if it's almost worth using Mower here to trade for the Curious. Probably not. Yeah, they're just going to make Apo here. That's fine. Curious would add back a card here. No, it has to be sent by an effect. Um, son of a bitch, I guess. Well, I got no more hand traps in my deck, so we are just chilling. We are just chilling. A lure. Yeah, of course. Mm hmm. That better not be fucking avarice number two. You have Valor? I do somewhere. Ooh, that's a pretty good draw, actually. They're letting it resolve. So this is neat. Now I can stop the Apo if I so desire. They have not whiffed a danger yet, that is correct. Yeah. They might actually be trying to deck me. I don't think they can. Can we hit the fucking Jackalope here? Nope. What the fuck? Oh, I have immediately ascertained what's going on here. Finally. This is curious again, right? Yeah. It's not the Monarch Tech. It is not the Monarch Tech chat. <clears throat> They're letting this resolve. They're like, fuck it. Too bad, idiot. You've got a light in the grave. They have to let this resolve. Or they're going to lose the Apo. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll fucking take this. Dealings the set card. Of course. Pitching snow! I should have I should have stopped that snow. Turn one. We are gonna literally fire snow every single for the rest of the game. Yeah, that's fine. This is a little bullshit. You know, one would imagine somewhere in this deck they have bricks. I haven't seen them yet. 
Can we please hit it? Oh my god, that's like... That's an abysmal hit. Cards in deck, 17. This is not going well. Okay, please hit it. Okay, well, at least they don't get that one. What are they doing from this position? Foolish. Okay. Go keep hole. Oh. That's like really bad, actually. Well, thankfully, they didn't realize what I was doing here. Alright, now they get to eat me. They get to eat me up. Oh, they don't even summon it. I don't know why I thought it was going to be a normal monster. It's obviously always going to be the stupid fucking moth. Duggerous. 14. Oh, good. Not even the reanimate. 12 cards in their deck. Is it Exodia? It feels like it can't be Exodia. They haven't been breaking enough for it to be Exodia. Card desk? All right. <laughs> Thanks for the 50 medals. <laughs> oh, wow. They were they were cooking. The Oh, Saruya is legal in this. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. They played through a lot, okay? So Maxi at three, huh? Yeah, dog. I guess Maxi's bad against card death self TK. This hand looks baller. Baller. You were a moron and didn't called by snow. Well, I didn't think that they were going to snow six times. In my defense. This looks pretty good. All right, well, this is no longer good. <laughs> we're fucking, we're dead. 
We are, we are dead. We're dead. We are so fucking toast. It's over. It's, it's over. It's over. It's over. That's what we're getting. Rank up Zexal Force. Oh no, we're revealing that. We're playing that card. We're going to lose to the deck playing rank ups. Oh! You have got to be fucking with me. That is the best. That is the best four card hand they could have opened. Look at that. Zexal Construction. A card for it. Forbidden Droplet. A card for it. Ascended Sage, Arm Sage, Change Tactics. That is the best... Oh my god. We lose! We lose. Uh, cool. We don't know what effects they're activating. I imagine that that's fine. Come on. Chain it. What the fuck? What on what on earth is that? Huh? Okay, we actually win here. Yeah, chat, so the reason I can't Valor that on the first activation is they can chain the effect of double to rank up, and then it's not the monster that I targeted and it gets to resolve. Yeah, I know, double doesn't seem like it should be a quick, but it's a quick. Could have actually killed me there by just threatening battle. What? What the fuck? Huh? Huh? I count that as a, an, a, a skillful victory on my part. That was the most skillful victory that I've ever... Uh, you know what? That was actually... I'm, I'm a little too saucy with it. I'm a little too nice. I'm a little too nice. I'm a little too saucy with it. Wait, so is Utopia legal? Because I will play Utopia. I like Utopia. Oh, Dragonar is not legal. What the fuck was I scared of? Uh, what what uh, what other of these have a... Uh... There's like a hero one, isn't there? Nope. Jesus Christ, they banned Liquid Soldier. Ghost Trick? Oh, can we play Ghost Trick? Now they ban the best ghost trick monster. Thunder Dragon? No. Megalith? I ain't playing that shit. Um, we could technically Ruin Force. Oh no, they banned Ruin Force. Wind Up is mostly legal. Does Abyss Actor have one? No. Mm. Um. Umi? There's no way this is legal. Yeah. Mutant is legal, but I don't have a mutant deck built.
digital bugs, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, let's do digital bugs. This motherfucker is a UR. We are not doing digital bugs. Craft it. Yeah, for sure. No, let's do the Twitter thread. You fucking... We're doing the Twitter thread, okay? Aye, aye, aye. That was wrong. They made him a UR to bait Duel Links players. They they were like, no, no, he's just as good here. No, 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 he's nuts. Buy him. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. <clears throat> hey, everybody. Joseph Rothschild here, a.k.a. MBT, and it's time for another Twitter thread. So as we all know, there are good decks, there are bad decks. Well, I guess I could say it like this. So as we all know, there are good decks like Tier Lament, and there are bad decks like everything but Tier Lament right now. But sometimes, decks are good or bad not based on the quality of their cards, but on extenuating circumstances. For example, Chronomaly was poised to be a metagame powerhouse in the TCG, except one of the most critical cards, Chronomaly Nebra Disc, was not imported until years after the deck would have been viable. What other decks can you think of that would have been good or bad, but for... You know, other reasons. Let's see what you all came up with. RJ says scraps were so close to being competitively viable in 2011, but they didn't have enough cards to be an entire archetype. Konami is merciful, though, and gave them just the card they needed. One at a time. Over ten years. And all those cards got used to support other decks. I'm going to be honest with you, RJ. Scrap was never that close. Oh, shit, here's the... Yep, here it is again. Okay, so I understand that this didn't revitalize Dino. I want you to tell me why. All right, so obviously the correct answer here is DDDs. Uh, Lazy says, Notably, there was a week-ish long period where it was indeed the best deck until the Zodiacs released, but DD support was vastly delayed in the TCG until they finally decided to release it the week before Raging Tempest came out. The card, of course, that was missing was... DD Lamia. Um, this is arguable, but yes, Deco Talker Heat Soul was the cornerstone of a bunch of control decks in the OCG around 2020. We got it in 2022 when we all had better shit to be doing. I did not that didn't stop people from playing it in Math Mech, though. You can do that now in Master Duel. Hmm? Oh yeah. Um so XX Saber Dark Soul. Um <laughs> uh I mm, this is a weird one. So XX Saber was insanely powerful despite probably not being that good for one or two tournaments because Dark Soul was worded in such a way that it was ambiguous as to whether multiple instances of it flipping would cause it to trigger multiple times in the end phase. There you go. Prince says, not saying that would have been format defining or anything, but all of the Tama archetypes, Valence, Runic, and Labyrinth, would have been much better if the set weren't randomly delayed to come after come out after Pot. The set was first scheduled for June and didn't come out until August. Yeah, so I don't think that Valence would have made a big meta impact, but I could have seen Labyrinth being a power player, except 
Oh man, JGPM, absolutely correct. I remember when Fright for Patchwork was announced, Fluffle players hyped that the card was going to make the deck broken and become the best deck, and then we didn't get it for two years. I don't know why it took them so long to import this card. They have something out for Skyhawk specifically. Remember when this deck was going to be meta-defining? I'll be honest with you, all Therion's really ever accomplished was giving some of the worst and most overhyped decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! a negate. Let's go ABC. Let's go Plants. Let's go Punk. Penguin Therion is sick, though. It's sick in playoffs. Folks! Link Kaiju had one weekend in the TCG before Level Leader was banned. People were testing it months in advance, and all it got was an OTS day. Yeah, there was a very short period of one weekend where I think Link Haribo and Level Leader were legal at the same time. Um, for two or three days... Blue Eyes and Dark Lord and Kaiju were far and away the best decks. No. Mm. <laughs> Fire King was going to be so good. <laughs> and then Konami put text on the cards. Here's a spicy one. In the OCG, they do not play Sprite Runic because of time rules. Skipping that many battle phases makes it so that when time is called, you cannot close out the game, whereas your opponent is allowed to stabilize and kill you. Oh, do they not do end of turn or end of phase? They do like one, two, three? Yeah, that would do it. I know Constellar did have tops in the day, but it will forever be a shame Omega was given to them in the set that had the rulers. Yeah, uh, this card was supposed to come out earlier and maybe would have made Constellar a force. It's a very powerful four in its own right, but uh, doesn't have too much on Dracosack. <laughs> when Exo Sister Martha was revealed, the deck shot to prominence in the OCG, combating both Sprite and Tear. The deck completely fell off in the TCG because we had the exclusive Garua, and as more players played Super Poly, Math Mech Rose is the third best deck in until the Tier 0 tier format. Bada bing. <clears throat> From the release of Xiao up until the start of tier format, Dragon Maid consistently got tops in the OCG for reasons TCG players just could not understand. The only difference between them and the TCG list was Maxi, and yet consistently... For several years, this deck remained. Yeah, I have literally no idea why this was. <laughs> Legitimately no clue. I don't think that I agree with this one. You wanna why she yes Nope. No 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 So did Ricka I uh, you know, you're right, you're right. Exosister won a real YCS, not an EU one. <clears throat> I disagree with this because I don't think F.A. had potential to be good no matter how much Doug paid for Whip Crosser. But I think they are correct in that players were turned off from even attempting it because without dice to keep track of what level the monsters were, uh, this was a disaster to play.
Dragoonity uh, was supposed to get a structure, at which point they were expected to be at least rogue playable, but instead they were delayed until Ghosts from the Past, way beyond their lifespan. How many YCSs did Math McQuaid? It doesn't matter. That was wrong. How many YCSs did Fluanderese win, right? The second best deck? <clears throat> Hmm. Many of you just do not understand the prompt here. The amount of times that PK has had all the tools it needed to succeed and been ass is sad. It could be that other top decks were better, November 2020, the existence of a card that you have no game against, Protoss and Sword Soul, or another deck doing your job better, Cyburst Lich. Phantom Knights is a generational talent at falling off. Every new list, we think it's going to be the best deck, and every new list, it's dog. There were like nine consecutive formats where I would look at the list and go, wow, PK sure looks great this time, and then play one game and decide that it was terrible. <clears throat> uh, okay. At Emancipator was terrible. It couldn't even win a tournament. <laughs> that that's actually thank that that is a good one. Thank you. World Superstars in general was one of the worst decisions Konami made in that era. So many legitimately good pieces of support that either remove decks from meta contention or kick decks down from potentially rogue to hard casual. Heraldry Patriarch would have been insane in exactly Heraldic Beast. Batlin Boxer Shadow. Oh joy, new support. Far too late. Star Seraph Scepter. I, for what it's worth, we did still play this one. And of course... Who can forget Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief? Oh, if she had only come out sooner, this deck would have been a tier negative one meta threat. The rest were pretty good, though. Did this come late to the TCG? I didn't even realize. <laughs> Yoshi... Fire King Island came late to the TCG, preventing Fire King from being playable, but it was really good in Cosmo, the first format it was released, right? I remember that. <clears throat> While not completely killing the deck, there was a four-month period where Altergeist couldn't do Manifestation Shuffle due to a translation error. Once eroded, the deck went from struggling to top a regional into topping YCS events semi-regularly. There are a couple of instances of typos with the altergeists specifically. I don't know how that happens. Wait, actually, I think that there's a better one. If I had a nickel for every time there was a mistranslation on an altergeist card, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't much, but it makes me think someone at Konami doesn't like Doug. TCG, it's actually great. Uh, yeah, I'll actually jump on the sword for this. Uh, the phenomenon that caused these should have been better moments for me are either prize cards not being accessible enough to fully, to be fully meta warping, and early cards and new summoning mechanics that are just insanely strong, pushing anything out of the format. I'll go to bat for Giant Hand. There's a couple of rank 4 strategies around this time that were extremely powerful in the OCG. Uh, things like um, Clown Blade that just weren't accessible in the TCG because we didn't have a generically good going first rank 4. Like Giant Hand really improved the quality of a bunch of toolbox decks 
but unfortunately it was a three thousand dollar card i guess clown blade also had Shockmaster. yeah 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 <clears throat> okay so i don't agree with this at all dimension box was a great set for arc v archetypes the tcg never got instead we got these cards scattered throughout various main set import slots cards like Lyrilisk, recital starling lunalite kaleido chick and fright for patchwork came out after lynx killed their decks half those cards became exceptionally powerful meta threats you could, you know what, in fact, every single named card was a staple in the best deck of the format. Liter every, sing every single one of the cards that you named was a staple in the best deck of their respective format. Huh? Patchwork? Erm, um, Branded? Branded Despia? Hmm. War Rock. It saw tops in the OCG because of slower format. I don't believe you. <laughs> no one understands this prompt. No one gets it. <laughs> Here's a Duel Links one. Grapha in Duel Links. Dark World got a lot of great support in 2018, but it wasn't until 2021 that they actually got Grapha. By that point, they couldn't compete with the likes of Blue Eyes, Harpies, Thunder Dragon, and Fire King. The latter even got tanky in the same set. Absolutely correct. I wailed for Grapha. I wanted this deck to be so good, so bad. And the stars looked like they were aligning in such a way that it would be, but a lack of payoffs and the fact that a 2700 beefy body didn't actually win you the game in that format, then every subsequent format was the death knell for this archetype. Wow, I mean, no one understands this prompt. <laughs> I guess this one works. Uh, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, it probably wouldn't have been powerful even if it was summonable. But for four years after the movie came out, could not even be played. Because Blue Eyes Ultimate had not been come... Blue Eyes Ultimate had not come to the TCG. There you go. Had not been come. Been come. Volcanics have been, like, tiered, like, three times. Come on. <sighs> Guaiba was in a top deck in 2012. What is going on? Good luck, Tyre. Here's a good one. Three Axis Fire Fist was poised to do great things, but the OCG and the TCG ban list were still linked at the time when hits came out. So Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Rooster was hit prematurely. There you go. Horsecock, maybe not. <clears throat> Thank you. 
There was a period of time in the OCG when Dragon Link was clearly the best deck in the format. It's around the timeline of the uh, 2022 Toss format, which led to the Darkness Metal Dragon errata. Part of that was this guy right here. In the OCG, Gandora X the Dragon of Demolition checks for existing attack. In the TCG, checks for original attack. I heard you like FTKs. If Hidden Arsenal 4 came out a little earlier, Fabled would have been really good. Oh my god. We found Doug's alt. If only Rescue Cat was legal. The original Dark World structure deck is infamous for super aggressive marketing that amounted to nothing in its debut, but it has less to do with how good the deck was, it certainly did get good in subsequent formats, and more to do with the combination of the idea of a dog shit mirror match and the fact that people just weren't that good at deck building. It's actually funny, um, there are a couple of formats uh, during which... Like, the best deck was something like Mermail, that with the benefit of, like, hindsight and historical deck building principles, we now know that Dark World is the best deck by, like, miles. Multiple formats. Firewater. Uh, the, the release format. That stupid fucking Herald format. Herald is not remotely competitive against this. Fire, water, where neither fire or water are good. It's such a weird format, but yes, water was held up almost exclusively because pros played it, and fire was held up by a positive water matchup. What specific deck building principles made it the best retroactively? All right, sidebar here. Let's just look up a Dark World deck from like 2011. God, I love this fucking site. Cannot wait till I never have to use this again. Let's go to uh, Kansas City. All right, so uh, look at this. Uh, it's bullshit. Uh, two beige, three brow, fabled raven, a graffa, a couple malefics, one silva, three snow, one tour guide, one allure, one card desk, two dealings, three drag down, foolish reborn gates, one a piece of dark deal smog, deck dev, return, solemn judgment, dust shoot. All right. This is just how people built decks, right? Back in the day, you wanted a diversity of trap options because you didn't want to draw into multiples. It left your back row not inflexible. Um, in reality, the way you were supposed to build Dark World, we'll just, uh, swoosh back here to, like, a, a 2014 one. Um, let's say Atlanta. Uh, looks a little different. Three, 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 three. <laughs> three Skill Drain. Three Mind Crush. One EEV. Limited card. Two Smog. Three Upstart. Three Gates. Like, people were like, okay, okay, okay. The interaction between Graffa and any Dark World is enough that we need to be building to find that. And to do it, we will play a 31-card deck. <laughs> and uh, people back in the day were like, a 31-card deck? What if I need 32 cards? Just realizing the consistency beat flexibility for Dark World. Not just for Dark World, for pretty much anything. There's a point in like 2010 when your linear game plan starts to just matter more than your flexibility and answers. And it took duelists literally about four years to figure that out. <clears throat> Did 
Did Yu-Gi-Oh players just not have any experience with other TCGs? No, that's the problem. They did. In Magic the Gathering, decks are still frequently built like that. Especially in like standard or slower modern formats, you will see a shitload of ones and two ofs because games naturally go long enough by virtue of the fucking mana system that you do have to have a diversity of answers in your deck. In Yu-Gi-Oh, it took a while for people to figure out that the game is actually two turns long. That's why Plant Synchro was played in Vayu was in Edison. Is Yu-Gi-Oh the only consistency is King TCG? I maybe misspoke here a little. Uh, it depends. Like, some Magic the Gathering decks do value consistency over, like, flexibility. But most don't, I feel comfortable saying, in, like, uh, in Standard. Yeah, many control decks have like 12 one-ups, and they're right to do so. I played Bring to Light Scapeshift in Modern forever, and that deck literally had like 15 one-ups. <clears throat> that was such a fucking fun deck. <laughs> Megalith was an incredibly powerful deck that was emboldened... Er, Megalith was an incredibly powerful deck that was playable pretty much exclusively because of the existence of Block Dragon, but because Adam Emancipator was good at the same time. Sorry. I, genu I genuinely think Ancient Gear would have been meta when it first came out if this said Ancient Gear Monster. We could play it now in Sprite if it said Ancient Gear Monster, but it don't. <clears throat> this is a decent one. Numeron's not a particularly good deck, but it's well represented in Master Duel. Uh, because of the extenuating circumstance that is how the ladder system rewards quick games with a 51% win rate. Like, what am I supposed to do with this one? Mutant should have been good, but they didn't get, give it enough gas. Hopefully it gets better. <laughs> Kunai with Chain could have been a very interesting removal spell in, like, Goat. But it came out in 2010. <laughs> 2008, 2008, 2008. This isn't a goat card. This was really playable in early speed duels, but um, not when you can synchro summon. Utopia could have been near meta if its boss monster hadn't been banned for another deck's sins. Feel bad about this one? Utopic Zexel was only really playable because of Numeron. Otherwise, it would have been a huge power player in Utopia, a deck that almost got there. In the OCG, I think this did put up some results, but here... Whoops. Uh, disagree with this one. Super unexplored deck. Ignite, by the way. No one plays the historic formats where Ignite is playable, but in those formats, it's a super, super underexplored archetype. I think, unfortunately, we are just past it in history of Yu-Gi-Oh! But I'm really interested in um, spending a lot of time on it for Jank. I think that these cards are like incredibly powerful and enable a whole slew of really interesting archetypes. We just didn't really get them.
Branded became a real meta threat when this card released for two weeks and then Pote came out. April 14th. August 5th. Okay. Yeah, it's like two weeks. <laughs> Bamboo Sword is an archetype with a unique win con. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, so in the OCG, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon was exceptionally dominant, but in the TCG, it just wasn't. It was around, of course, and it was a backup plan for a great number of decks that were also playing Verity Anaconda, but usually it was just one more piece of an end board that was already unbeatable, or something you could do when you had been hand-trapped twice that usually didn't make it out of the main phase. Have we talked about Roy St. Clair's decks? Uh, well, we talked about X-Saber. It's crazy. Someone was actually topping with X-Saber before Dark Soul came out. It was like he always drew a playable hand. How could that have happened? <clears throat> Wait, Every was supposed to re Every was supposed to release with the OGs? There's no way that's true. This legitimately would have been a fucking force in Edison. Are you kidding me? No, I don't believe you. You're, you're just lying. It was teased but had no effect. Uh, what? It was like in the show or something? You're lying. I don't know. I'm lying. Literally lying. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, Math Mech, a great answer for this. Incredibly powerful in a vacuum. But uh, Laplacian sends cards to the graveyard. About a month after this deck released, people found out how to play Tear. <laughs> ghost tricks would have been much more powerful if their boss monster ghost trick divine arsenal double a zeus sky thunder weren't so generic that actually good decks could use it <laughs> that's that's a good point actually i didn't think about it that way Punk should have been good for a period in Master Duel, but we ain't got her yet. <laughs> the Marincess deck that was playable between, like, the branded hits and the release of Sprite and Tear. Oh, what a four days. Two weeks, my bad.
Why is everyone putting Guru in here? Guru was good for like six consecutive formats. Uh, do you all know what the release schedule for Cash Tira is? Like, you're about to get it. Guru got fourth at a regional yesterday. <laughs> That's an interesting thought experiment. Master Rule 4 was supposed to combat power creep. Zoo was already by far the best deck, but the first wave of Link monsters in the TCG included Mrs. Radiant, so it basically just continued unimpeded. I don't think this is true. I think that Infernity was actually even better than uh, than it was historically. This is another one of those decks where upon closer scrutiny, a lot of formats are just ruined by Infernity. Hat. Oh, well, we're getting a couple of circulars here. Wow, oh, no one... No one got this. How many more of these are there? Oh, there will be enough for Dire. If Toon Chaos came out at any earlier point, it would have been a rogue option. No. <laughs> so, Lightsworn Minerva being a prize card did impact rank 4 toolbox's viability. Uh, but... I don't think by that much. <clears throat> so, yes, this is actually a pretty good response. Um, Sprite should have been unstoppable, but a better spread of super poly targets, including Garua, plus the lack of the ability to bounce a maxi back to the hand, a play that the OCG exclusively has access to, meant that instead of being a tier zero super threat, it was mostly just the best deck. That was wrong. Spirit Exo. I'm interested. We made it to the bottom. It's been so long since we made it to the bottom. I appreciate everyone in the thread who went to bat for Math Mech. I knew the deck wasn't bad. I knew it was someone else's fault. Anyway, please import Wake Up Your E Hero quickly. Hero could be tier one, but only if you act now. <laughs> That's it. Three minute video. Good luck. Good luck, Dyer. Good. Good fucking luck. This one did not. This. This. I don't know about this one. All right. Bye bye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. I had a good day here today. It's fucking midnight. Good night. Who do you wanna? Who do you wanna go watch? Let me see who's uh, who's streaming here. Is Gage still online? Gage. Oh yeah, let's go to let's go to Gage. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Ooh, kill him.
Ooh, kill him. Ooh, kill him. All right, 8.30. We can do that. All right, see you, uh, see you in the future, in the, the far-flung future.